what that was uh, you know brought out that the weather was turbulent yeah they flew all because of the money of course it's the money it's the <laughs> money <laughs> they wanted to earn the money and that means they have chances right yeah they can as long as there's a report they have yeah the okay. only thing they may settle out of court okay mm. all right Lagos, you're welcome to the evening rush 90.3 voice of the people of many how many have name. crashed here did anybody bother to <laughs> From Bayview to Susu. But, but Mr. Darlington, we're still a developing country. <laughs> Are you serious? We're still green. Are you serious? You don't compare an old man with grey you, hair you with are, a child that is green. You are behind the human race. No, sir. Are you, are you are the giant of Africa? No, sir. I, I, I no, disagree. No, no, no. You cannot reinvent the wheel. The world have moved on. It's you who refuse to follow them. Mm. All right, Lagos, you are welcome to the Evening Rush 90.3 Voice of the People of Emmanuel Miss Precious in you. Um, as usual, I- I'd love to say it's a good day, but we know that for so many families, um, it's not such an amazing day because um, there's been a lot of crazy news recently. From yesterday, this night, back and forth of Junior Pope's, uh, Pope's death, and then to his the news of his revival and being alive, and then back to the fact that he's dead. It's such, such, such... A bad news and not just him other crew members who are also part of the production who died may their souls rest in peace and then the third mainland bridge there uh, and of course that third mainland bridge is you see uh, this actor unko even make can't forget the people who died for third mainland bridge mm-hmm. that but it's not even reckless driving looks like commercial drivers are driving anyhow they it's five and six you know that is why most time the government don't want to give us the best because when you are when you are giving the best you abuse it they warned after that uh, repair that look oh, don't over speed there oh. those who have been using they said the plate look like a glass that the road look like that they polish you with it's too glass. smooth uh-huh. mm-hmm. i've not gone there oh. no i, mean, I would have given you my eyewitness reports no they have uh, been saying it unlike what fashola did more than three times thanks to mm. devil you see what happened when a professional is handling a matter so fashola repaired that road more than three times we never got this kind of uh, but not the money they spend there. At least they remind you say do something. Thank God for him. That is what a professional does. You can see the difference. When we say give a put a ramp peg in a round hole, that's the meaning. That is the meaning. I you hope th- I, I hope you still give him the commendation when the time comes for uh, hey, look look at me. Uh, for the, the for the coastal highway. The hey, don't, don't worry, they are still building. He's not the one that uh, put the price there. His own is to build. Whether Tunubu is spending 20 trillion or fund, it doesn't concern him. His own is to do the work. He's not the one that put the money down. That's it. He's going to do the work. If he does it properly, we'll all applaud him. Just like we applauded him on this uh, third mainland bridge. Abi, uh, whatever money they spend there, at least people are getting value. Okay. Everybody that I had, all the present, they've been commenting that uh, bridge he repaired. They've okay. been commenting it. I'm here to apply. When I do, I'll let you know. So, um, Barista Darling saying, Mazi Okechuku Isi Guzuru, Factional Secretary General of Ahane is indeed worldwide, has urged Northern Elders. Wait, oh, I forgot the Factional Pre- Secretary General. Oh, you know that there is this in Wayamu team and another team. Oh, Kwema. <laughs> <laughs> so, I said that and I just thought to re- re-say it again. I remind myself of what I said. Okay. So, um, yes. He has urged Northern Elders to revert to the days of alliance between the North and Eastern region. He said the Northern Elders uh, leaders should reflect on the historical missteps of their region from 1999 to 2023. Uh, this is coming on the heels of recent declaration by the leadership of the North uh, Northern Elders Forum expressing regret over their choices to support President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, or their choice rather, to support President Bola Ahmed Tinubu in the 2023 general election. So you can't say, ah, ah, why now? Hmm? You know you, you know that gist now of their regrets, uh, mm. where they recently you know came hard on president the president and lamented the growing insecurity across the country especially the recent abduction of school children and all that but isi guzuri is saying in a statement that uh, the north must heed the call with grace as they have been uh, the architect of their own political misjudgment and blunders so uh, you see this bed where you lie down like this uh, where you see like this uh, now you liam go lie down on top like that by yourself so according to the statement he you know issued he said embracing the reality of realignment with the southeast is imperative for the northern region's future prosperity do you believe he also stressed that 
without rekindling the traditional allegiance with the East. The North risk being risk being ensnared by cunning politicians, perpetuating a circle of regrets that has plagued the region since 1999. Mm -hmm. Precious. Sir? It is really unfortunate. You people in the South here claim that you went to school. Yet, every time, you, you keep blaming the North for your misfortune, political misfortune. Why? Why is it that it is either the Southeast is running to the North for alliance or the Southwest is running to the North for alliance? When will the North run, run to you for alliance? Precious, when will the North run to you for alliance? You are referring to what happened in the 60s. Didn't the same North betray Azikiwe? Did they not? Eh? The problem of the Igbo today, who causes it? Is it not the North? When another people carry that a coup and they blame it on the South, it's and started killing everybody. And how did that happen? How did it, are you asking me? I'm asking you now. You raise the issues. So I want you to buttress the, your point. Uh, hey, the point is that uh, uh, when you when you when you have, go and read the book, why we struck. The people that carry the a coup have explained how they carry the coup, but the North is still blaming the South is up to today for that coup, 1966. The man that called the coup was an Igbo man, Agri Rossi. Yeah, they are still blaming the Igbo for that coup. He quashed the coup. He quashed it. He quashed the coup. It's on record. Agri Rossi quashed the coup, arrested the coup plotters. Eh? And now he unified Nigeria. Decree 34. That's the, same, that's the same coup that is referred as the Igbo coup. They know exactly. the Eastern Nigeria coup. The one coup. that caused problem. And that was why when there was a represal at a coup, they started killing the Igbos. And they culminated in the civil war. Something that did not concern us. So when a coup is he doesn't know history. The problem of the Igbos tomorrow is caused by the North. The facts are there. Because they were misinformed that the Igbos did this and did that and did that. Eh? All the northern leader they claimed that was killed. Balewa, nobody killed him. I told you, he was an asthmatic patient. Eh? But they claimed they killed their leaders, this and that. Eh? Well, Nzog, who was the leader of that coup? He's their own son. He's their own son. He was born and bred over there in the north by uh, Sauduna. Why didn't Nzog, I mean, he could go remind them of all this history and he's claiming that alliance, alliance, alliance. The only reason why he's making is because of NCNC couldn't form a government. So it has to ally with the NPC, Northern People's Congress. And the reason was that I, I wonder what betrayed the Zeke when Zeke won election to become the leader of the Southwest. I wonder how to rally his people and, and ask them how can a son be a slave in his father's house? And all of them cross carpeted uh, uh, to, to his own side. All the people that we are supporting as Zikyo. So when it now came to 1960, when they want to have independence, of course, Ziki, ah, this man that betrayed me before. If I form an alliance with him, he'll betray me again. That was why Ziki went to the north. That was why, nothing else. And I've been asking you, since this thing happened, and we said let us move on, has the Southwest recognized the Southeast? Eh? Have they recognized all the things that the Southeast have been saying, including the uh, Aburi Accord? That would have solved all this problem we are going through today. Who torpedoed it? It wasn't only the Southwest. All the civil servants in the Southwest are here. I know their names. I sure do. Uh, all of, I know their names. Eh? When uh, Gowan came back from Aburi, they told him, don't agree with that agreement. Don't agree with this Igbo man. He has played you. You don't use Igbo sense on you. Don't, don't sign that. Don't implement it all. All of them are Southwest, from the Southwest, all the, the, the so called civil servants. Then we are the one. Eh? And that was why go on renege. And of course, the rest is history. Right. Even when their own son, even when their own son was supposed to take over from Agri Rossi when he was killed by Dadum and his group, Ojuku insisted that uh, Brigadier Goodnibe should take over because he's second in command. If not, he will not obey anybody. How can you? Because Gowan was an LDC to Agri Rossi. And Oduku said, I will never obey my junior in the army. That is the bomber for you. Instead of uh, 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 Brigadier Goodwin to take charge, he ran away. He ran away. Eh? That was what Oduku said, he will never obey his junior in the army. And he did not do that until he died. 
So why do you think not remind the North of what they have been doing in Nigeria since they came in here or since they joined the Nigerian politics? All the things they have done, I don't know why the, the South in here would not even remind the North of what they have been doing. Every time you run to them, every time. Look at what is going on today. This is security. Who caused it? Precious, who caused this thing now? All right, Barry Sedalinti, let's yeah. get straight to the hot topics that we have. You, you want to go and tell me yeah, yeah, they're not, uh, which alliance? That alliance, was, it, it was bad news for the Igbos. It was bad news. It never benefited us. All right, Lagos, welcome to the Evening Rush. This is where Nigeria's finest and hottest conversation takes place every evening. And most importantly, we get to have you have your say, even though we appeal to you to apply some decorum while, we do, while you do that. My name is Precious Inya, the host of the show. Barry Sadalenting is here. He's my regular Tuesday, Monday, Thursday guest. And uh, today we have quite an area of conversations that we'll be looking at. On our hot topic today, uh, okay, let's begin. First off, uh, former science and technology minister Abu Nayono is dead. Uh, yes, police feared, uh, policeman feared killed as unknown gunmen attack checkpoint in the Boyne state. And also fear as Lassa fever spread sorrows across 16 states. And there's the story about a UK-based Nigerian cosmetic surgeon who faces tribunal over alleged sex with patients. Mm. You finish, you carry the other one, balance yourself. Mm. Bandits release Eid Idol Fitri celebration video in Zamfara. <laughs> Where they are enjoying themselves. Mm. Okay, forgive me for laughing. All right, moving on to other conversations. Okay, Boala knocks a be over quality of boreholes donated to northern communities. Mm -hmm. And then... Poverty, hunger, unemployment, and the increase in Ebony State. OD, uh, the PDP gubernatorial candidate in the state, is saying so. And moving forward in Ondo State, PDP vows to return to power, trains aspirants, media aides. They train and they do press up on how to take back power. <laughs> Ondo Guba aspirants, Jimo Ibrahim says 100 million. Okay, Jimo Ibrahim pays 100 million dues, 100 million naira dues for APC members. Mm. Hmm. Uh, stopping Akira Dolu's project after his demise, height of wickedness, APC undo aspirant. Okay. And then 10 years after Chibo Girls mass abduction, Nigeria's school children still at risk. Human Rights Watch says so. Ligas, these are the hot topics that we have. You know what? As usual, let's take a quick break. We'll be right back. For here, put on for in there. Go now, yes. I know go find better work do. Now Yahoo Yahoo then go do. Go now. Stop. That person where you want born, if it they innocent, no go carry person blood pull for your head. Don't go justice, no good at all. Stop him. You will light the fire. You not get hurt. Say no to jungle justice. You uncle, come. We follow for the crowd. They look where then the bomb person. You, you no stop, stop them. If they do you like film, Abi. Your hands have no clean. You, you fit enter Bege. Stop the lynching. Stop, stop jungle justice. Uh, under the criminal law for Lagos State, person we start jungle justice. Those we support them and those we just don't look. All of them fit rot for jail. My name na Benjamin Hundein, Lagos State Police Talk Talk person. Stop jungle justice. This message now from Lagos State Police Command and VOP 19.3 FM. Listen to hot critical analysis and top trending topics of the day. Join Precious Monday to Friday, 7 to 9 p.m. on The Evening Rush. <laughs> All right, just before we get okay yeah yeah let's before we get into the political issues uh let's quickly let you know that an all progressive congress apc presidential aspirant in the 2023 general election uh dr bonaya onu is dead now it was gathered that uh, onu who was the first civilian governor in abia state died in abuja today thursday details of the incident are still a bit sketchy as at the time of filing the report, however, it was learned that the APC Chief 10 has been battling with an undisclosed ailment. So he died after a brief illness. Ono's last major public appearance was during the APC primary election in 2022, 
when he alleged uh, uh, when he alleged injustice against the people of southeast former president uh, muhammad buhari had in november 2015 appointed ono as the minister of science and technology just to remind you he's the one who said we're going to you know start developing our own producing our own pencils in nigeria Okay. The former governor, however, resigned his position on May 6, 2022 to join the APC presidential race, which he lost to President Bolame Chinobo. And that's where he said that the APC is being unfair to the Southeast. Paris Darlington, such a huge loss to the Southeast. I think um, he will be remembered for his uh, administrative uh, sagacity in Abia. He was once... Uh, the former governor. He was a very popular governor in Abia. Yes, very popular. Yes, he did. He did well in Abia. He did. I think that was before Ebony. No, Ebony had been created by that time. I think so. So he was very good. And being a first class student of Uniport. Oh, he's, he's, we share the same alma mater as Yes, well. yes. He went there. He was a okay, chemical engineering and all that. So he did a lot I of. I mean, he's very intellectually sound. Very, 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 very. In his private. Do you uh, think he played that out as a minister? Uh, the thing is that, you know, when you're a minister, uh, pressure, there are things people don't understand. You can only do as much as you're allowed to do. You understand? Mm. Yes. I know that if he was given the opportunity, he would have replicated what the Biafra scientists did, but I don't think anybody would want him to do that. Even though he had all the capacity, he was limited and all that. So it is not as if uh, he, he, he didn't want to do anything, but it is what the, the people that appointed him, what they wanted him to do, what he did. So on that score, he did very well because there was no scandal under his ministry. We didn't record any major scandal under his ministry. So he did well. He did well. It was lo less controversial and all that. And one of the very, you know, not so many uh, Igbo men who are, uh, you know, s very strong believers of the APC administration. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't actually because he believed that there should have been a, there should have been a, what is, what do I call it now? Um, balancing. You know? You know, when APC zoned it to the south, Mm. Uh -huh. It was expected that the Ibos, the South East, should have taken the slot, you know. But, you know, for reasons best known to them, it still went by. But if you check it, Obasanjo had been there as military president and the military uh, general or president and then as civilian president. And then two, uh, Bola, Bola Ameri Tunubu again. So, if you wanted balancing, are you not supposed to say these people have not tested it all and they have contributed a lot in this country? And I think that was where he based his argument that uh, the Satis have been shortchanged in spite of their contribution, which are very, very obvious to everybody. Very, very obvious. So, when the Satis are agitating, they have a very valid reason for doing that. Very valid reason. If you are doubting, let us let us run a check on all the regions, all the regional uh, groups in Nigeria, and let us see who has contributed more to the development of this country. You will discover that the Ibo man, with his industry, with his uh, academy, everything, they have done more than enough for this country. So I don't know why, when it comes to their own thing, you know, politics, all manner of things will come up. But others, they will collect it on a platter of gold. It's so sad. It's so sad. May he so rest in peace. All right, Remember. moving on. Unknown gunmen today, Thursday, launched an attack on a police checkpoint along Abakiliki Enugu Expressway, setting a police patrol van ablaze. The incident occurred at the Ishike Junction on the outskirts of Abakiliki Metropolis. According to sources in the area, the gunmen killed one policeman and abducted another during the attack however these details could not be verified at you know the time of the report uh, but lots of people still you know had to report the state police public relations officer dsp joshua okandro confirmed the attack although he stated that the, sp uh, that the specifics of the incident were still unclear but it's a darling thing yet another attack hmm. why can't the federal government find out what is going on in the southeast Precious, when this thing started, remember that first day, that first day that 
unknown government attacked the most secured uh, area in Imo State. I'm talking of an area where you have the prisons, the DSS, the, the police headquarters, the military whatever, <laughs> the commandant office, the anti anti um, kidnapping uh, headquarters, even the governor's office, the same street. Eh? Some unknown government went to attack that place and released some people from the prisons and they operated for three hours. Up to today, nobody brought out any report. Nobody was arrested. Imagine somebody going to such a place to attack anything and not, nothing, nobody was arrested. Secondly, the day that over 400 people were arrested from Imo City, at least Hopu Zodima was very true from, from that. He said that the people that were arrested, they are not even from Igbo land. They don't speak Igbo. Up to today, those four, we don't know what happened to them. We didn't hear any prosecution. You equally had when over two, two trailers were just that. This was early this year. Two trailers of human beings were brought from somewhere with dogs. And they kept, they said they are coming for hunting in Imo State. We discuss it here. Eh? Where is the forest to uh, do hunting in Imo State that over two trailer load of human beings can come here? These are issues, but when it happens, people just overlook it until the problem starts manifesting. Eh? I have asked somebody, anybody who can give me evidence that the Igbo man is a violent man. When did we start killing? Precious. When did the Igbo man start killing themselves and killing others? I have said it here that throughout the civil war, we did not kill anybody, especially the houses, even though they were killing our people and sending their body, their, well, their headless well, well, body. Their we did let's, not kill let's, anybody. Let's kindly play, 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 play attention hey, no, to no, the no, I want to stress a point here. That, before something can happen, it must have a history. If we did not kill people that time when there was war, is it now that we start killing people? Is that, does it not make sense to you? I have said it repeatedly that this is that going on in South The federal government should go and find. They should tell us what is going well, on. Lots of people have been complaining eh? about the military presence in in the yeah. southeast. So because, what are they doing? Because there? just for the military to be able to also nip this in the bud, that's the reason why nip there's been a lot what? of security. Nip what? Nip security. What? Nip you can what? hear what's happening. The development eh? in Anambra State, eh? where what? where we've heard that. Um, in d at different occasions, the security have been able to Precious. apprehend some people and I also pop, destroy some, I pop some cash have told you, I pop have told you that if you leave the security of the South Seas in their hands, if one person, one person die like this, you should hold them responsible. I pop have said that. Why couldn't the federal government say, okay, oh yeah, take over. Let's see. Eh? No, is that not enough? They have, they have, they have given guarantee that let them handle security in the south and according let to the laws of nigeria uh, yes what what now. else according to the laws of nigeria they are they prescribed group okay fine okay no problem so would you i, I said no problem no problem i heard what you said though it is only you who saw them as terrorists I no said other according person. to the laws of nigeria i said no other person it is only you who Personality, said it that's not correct yeah, what is it which law look before Why you not prescribe by Nigeria hold courts? on if they do that if you want to hang a dog don't you give it a bad name that's what they did to ipop these are these are not my words hey, hey, these are the words i of am your telling Lord. you now this is your word now it doesn't all go with god that's not what that's not what god that's not what god mean when he, when you want to describe a terrorist that's not how to describe a terrorist because we have seen terrorists in the north we have seen what they are doing are you telling me have ipop done one quarter of what they are doing in the north are you telling me Precious, please tell me. You see, you and those people who protect above, you cannot, you cannot answer me now. Have you seen it? So it's not enough to say IPOB is a prescribed group. What are your criteria? What are your evidence? Even till now, with what they have done, IPOB have never so ransacked any So when this happened, why eh? didn't the governors of the Southeast challenge that? That's the concern. Because you ah. fight for yourself. Oh, the no. governors would have challenged it and said no. This group is not as harmful. It's not harmful enough oh to be to, to, to be prescribed as a terrorist group. I, why why didn't the eastern leaders or le leaders from the east the east, east eastern extraction of the country protest that prescription? You have forgotten that the politics come into this matter. It doesn't we, matter. So politics shouldn't play play in the lives of your in your youths. If your youths, you know that they're really innocent. Why didn't you fight for so their rights? At, at least let it be that the elders said something and then 
you know, the Nigerian government under the leadership of Muhammad Buhari, by the way, then the court, former governor said no and insisted. The, but did they say anything? The court have said how many so. people protested against it? Are you aware that the court have said so? The IDF said that they should award Namna the Kalu eight billion naira, the federal government, a court in Enugu. Are you aware of that? Did the federal government answer them? So it is your governors in the south is who have put their political interest that will not go and tell Buhari. No, these are our people, they are not terrorists. So, so uh, Barry said eh? going the back. The people that brought all those unknown government into the south east, where they the uh, south east governors. No, what do you want them to do so that they will accuse them of uh, Barry they are the chief behalf. security officers of, of the south east. None of them is they remain the chief security officers of the south east. On paper. They cannot be helpless. On paper. So Barry said Darlington. On paper. There are chief security officers in the north, too. Precious. There are chief security officers in the north. Yeah, they couldn't stop what is going on there. You still want to continue with this argument? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, yeah, now. At least because you, before you accuse the people from the southeast, say they are the only one who could not do. The people that are supposed to be taking care of things in the north, have they done that? Uh -huh. So you can see. So you're saying that it's fair that the northern uh, um, southeast elders could not they have done um, their defend, best. defend they have done, their people. They have done their best. They have done their best. And this as, their best is fair As far enough. as I'm concerned, they have done their best. So you know you don't understand the position they are, they are in. Look, if they do more than they're supposed to do, they will call them Biafra. They will they will they will start they want they will tell you them will that, call an entire zone Biafra. Ah, we well, are you not you, trying, when they said that we are dot in a circle, did anybody reply them? That is ex exactly what I'm saying. Uh -huh. but, it's, but, but it's, that is, that's exactly what I'm saying. Uh -huh. If you, for instance, for instance, let me give it. Let me give a typical example. Mm. Same chief justice or same justice gave a law. Mm. I mean, gave a judgment mm. on Wadumi, mm. a known mm -hmm. <laughs> a ki kidnapping kidnapping kingpin. Uh -huh. You understand? Yes. And gave him just about twenty years uh, imprisonment. Twenty, 20, 20 more, months, more, rather, after, imprisonment. After the seven years. Uh -huh. That same guy is a person who made about five police officers die called their death yes. caused the death of about five yes, police officers yes, yes. Mm -hmm. until now the army officer who was linked to him we don't know his whereabouts okay and what he was giving was just 20 months mm. imprisonment mm. but the same judge mm. is also stopping the release or perhaps have not said anything about the release mm. of someone whose crime is not really known mm -hmm. who is nabdekano okay. am i correct that that's the same judge in charge of yeah, the, you're on track am, am i correct you're on so track. so if you wanted if governors elders wanted to defend their people because i'm sure if it was not our elders they would complain uh, why do we have the same judge give this kind of judgment with wadume and give another judgment within nabdekano or you know make another statement within nabdekano why don't they do something why why shouldn't the law be upheld pressure. why should evans for instance have 25 years imprisonment for for the, for the same crime with no, what do me? In fact, the first sentence was even, even life imprisonment. Even la, even the first life, was for life life imprisonment. Okay, fine. Why why should it be the same case? Um, why can't we have a balance? So if I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to say is that if the southeastern leaders and elders, I dare say, had pointed out this unfair treatment or inequality as it were, do you think that there wouldn't be that awareness? At least let them talk. Let them say. Let the world know that they are talking. Let the world know that they are saying something. Precious. Please, you are you are dragging this matter too far. Look at ordinary election that happened here in Lagos. Did you see what the what the boss went through? Please, I want to ask you. Didn't you see what the boss suffered during the last election? So the then election silence remains the best. best no, I'm best. asking you because one, the reason why this is going on is because. The Igbo man, I don't know what they have done to Nigeria, which they have not explained to us. Anything that you keep speaking out, that's what hey, I'm saying. Speak out. No, no, no. It should one remain in silence. God who said the battle belongs to him. We have said what oh, we want to say. Oh, that's the best option. Hold on now. We have said what we want to say. The whole world have known what is going on with the Igbos in Nigeria. It is left for the federal government. I know that at a point, the shame will be on them. Because they will come to explain to the whole world what the Igbo man have done wrong. You saw what happened here during the election. They even claimed that uh, NSAS was caused by the Igbos. Canon and the Kalu said they should burn Lagos. Everything that happened, it is Igbo man. What do you want him to do? So that's the reason why the elders have to be quiet. Mbazulike, Mbazulike, the first, uh, 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 that's the minister of, uh, is it not aviation? In the first republic. He went to Buhari, said, please, let this be the, the, the last wish. You will do for me release this young man to us 
Deeper elders have gone. Or Hanese went to, you had it. Buari said that uh, he will not interfere in Inland the Cal. Now, whatever court decided, he will abide by it. Precious, when the court decided, did the Buari abide by it? Hold on. Did he abide by it? And, you, what, and, and what were he? he what did they want silent? us to do? Ah, we are, look, elders have spoken. Uh -huh. we, have sent, we have done things the way it should be done. And they refuse. What do you want us to do? To go on a protest so that they will not say you want to stop Jafra. Because that's what they are waiting for. Okay. Hey, if you say anything now, or you protest now, they will tell you, no, you cannot protest in Lagos. You cannot protest in Abuja. Because the, the reason uh -huh. I'm raising this issue is that if you feel unfairly treated, and uh -huh. you have evidences to be the, to, to portray the point that you've been unfairly treated, the best thing to do is to speak out. We and have, you lay down your evidences. We have, look, have we not? Precious, even the one we are speaking, don't you see how they interpret anything that P2B says now? Precious, are you not listening? I said, I don't know what the Igbo man, they have not explained to the Igbo man what he has done wrong with all his contribution, which I have outlined here. Yet, everything that has to do with him, they will team up against him. They will gang up. Even what they are guilty of, they will accuse the Igbo man of doing, of doing the same thing. All right, Didn't right. you see what happened here when Peter B came to campaign? Did you see what 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 what, what was done to him? Did anybody retaliate in the southeast? The answer is no. The answer is no. So what do you want the Igbo man to do? If you right. talk, yeah, let God let God say the battle belongs to him and, and he just keeps yes. remaining uh, and belonging to God. Because at a point, the shame will be on them that ah, these people that have done so so much in Nigeria, why are they being treated like this? Ah, when the time comes, my dear, God will take over. When the time come, at least we have outlined our 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 points. We don't. We are not. A, that will tell you that we are not a violent people. That All is right, that but, what but, I'm trying to tell you here. Each time I say it, I have evidence. We don't do things the world that are doing it. It must be us or else heaven will fall. You saw what was happening here during the election. Whenever they want power, they start killing, doing this, doing that. Did we kill anybody? Did we fight anybody? Pleasure. Did we fight anybody? So when anybody wants to put you down as an Igbo man, ask that person, what did we do wrong in Nigeria? That is the first question you should ask. What did the man, Igbo man do wrong in Nigeria? Nobody can, nobody right, can so, give so answer. So Daniel, let's move forward to so make this about... Um, uh -huh. you know, so it's all um, about hatred. They hate the Igbo man because of independent mindedness, because of his truth, because of his... Nothing else. Pressure, nothing else, nothing else. Apart from that, let somebody come and tell me what we did wrong. All right, so moving on, uh, we hear that at least uh, at the last count, Lassa Fever has claimed many Nigerians with over 100 cases recorded across 16 states of the country. This is like a recurrent thing whenever, you know, we have dry season like this. According to the Nigeria Center for Disease Control and Prevention, NS NCDC, between February 26 and March 3, a period of one week, it has recorded 20 deaths and 109 cases of Lassa Fever in 16 states. Now that we even don't have enough medical personnel. Now, NCDC describes Lassa fever as an acute viral uh, hemorrhagic uh, excessive bleeding illness that is transmitted to humans through contact with food or household items contaminated by infected rodents or contaminated persons. So there's a particular um, species of rats that carries this Lassa fever. Mm -hmm. And I thought to raise this issue so that we'll be educated and in case that rat is in your house, you don't chop your bread small. <laughs> no tossing make a bite, come out, cut the, the, the rat's mouth, come out, chop the rest. I beg. I know say bread cost. Just go come out, throw away the bread so you'll be alive. That rat is a bit grayish in color and has a long mouth kind of. So that's a particular rat that carries this infection. Please try as much as you can to um, avoid any meal that you have left open. Even if you're not sure of the color of the rat that ate it. Just go come avoid any meal that has been eaten by rats. And ensure that you don't have foodstuffs uh, you know kept open where rats are or you don't pick anything on the floor and put in the mouth when you know you have rats around please nigerians uh, this is for the purpose of awareness so that we'll be aware let's be alive and pass this difficult period even the rats are angry now because there are nothing for them to eat the rats are angry what they do now is that uh, is that eating human beings <laughs> They've learned so I've heard complaints about rats eating legs, eating people's food. Uh, they've learned Does that happen? What, what are you saying? How they, hungry can they be to do that? Uh, they have learned how to open your shoe pot. Those who don't have freezer in their house. 
So when you cook and they will now, after searching that they didn't see, they will go and open your soup pot and help themselves with it. Or oh, you know how such a story. Ah, rats can open your pot. Oh. They can open things. So they are not happy at all because there are nothing for them to eat. Even in the dustbin, no, no leftover. <laughs> all right, Barrister Nancy. So let's look at this case of a medical tribunal in Manchester, the United Kingdom, getting ready to grill and our grilling actually a Nigerian cosmetic doctor, Uluwa Femi Tijion Esho, uh, over an alleged sexual intercourse with a patient in exchange for free Botox. Hmm. He do cosmetic surgery, then he say, "Don't pay me in cash, pay in kind, more like it." Botox injections are shots that use a toxin to prevent a muzzle from moving for a limited period, which is used to reduce the appearance of, you know, facial wrinkles. So it's normal cosmetic surgery to make your face look younger. Yeah. Mm. So the British Nigerian cosmetic surgeon who has why why a night commits crime on Agonos in a British Nigerian, but if he win award now, we'll call him the British who won this award. If not Anthony Joshua and go name him the British. You don't commit crime now. I don't call him British Nigerian. Why are you put like this? Sorry, forgive me. Let me go back to the message. They say he he appeared on several popular TV programs. Uh, he was said to have admitted to an improper emotional relationship with a patient. And you know that these offenses are very serious. Uh, but it's not like in Nigeria that the doctor may molest you and they will not take it serious. It's a serious, a serious, unprofessional and ethical offense in 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 your line of duty. So the woman who is OnlyFans model. I won't tell you what OnlyFans is. Is Holy. OnlyFans. Nigerians who you, you 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 those who know know, right? Okay, let me not spoil Barry Okay, Valentine. OnlyFans. OnlyFans uh, she's a, an OnlyFans model. Okay. Uh so she's a patient. She earlier claimed she got free uh, she Botox. wanted to improve on her business now. Uh, uh, yes now. Maybe the thing is surgeon and men are no longer Hey. So wanted to Barry Valentine, how, how do you know OnlyFans has anything to do with uh, model um, okay. um Oh, yeah, go, ahead. go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Mm -hmm. I said, Go ahead. You are the one telling me, I didn't know before. <laughs> Who is teaching you? Are you not the one? I was a good boy until I met you. <laughs> but I said, I've always been a good girl. Look at what. <laughs> okay so moving back to that conversation uh so she claimed she got free botox in return for sex at mm. a show's clinic she mm. also alleged that they exchanged inappropriate sexual messages on instagram mm. perhaps with the proof to show but you know bottom line this inappropriate behavior no it's not good Sad. it's not good it's not good taking advantage of your patient and you know that how those countries work he may lose his mm. license yeah no he will not he may he will as long as this has come to the public domain he will even a doctor that uh, gave uh, Michael Jackson uh, overdose lost his last. I even went to jail. So they take such things serious. No matter who you are, whether you're a British or an immigrant, it doesn't matter. Their law will apply. Okay, Barry Sadalinton, I'm playing an audio now. Please take a listen. I hope you understand what the audio is about. <laughs> In case you're wondering what that is, Lagos, uh, we hear that bandits in Zamfara State have released, they just released that video showing uh, their members celebrating the recent Edel Feature Festival mm. in Munhaye community in the state. Inside mm. Zamfara, they did there. Nothing, nothing do them. They did, no shaking. No shaking. If you burn them, boy, you will Congo touch them. Now, this was disclosed on Thursday by uh, Zagazula Makama, a counterinsurgency expert and security analyst in Lake Chad, in a post on X, aka Twitter. It was reported that Muslims in Nigeria joined their counterparts, of course, for the Eid uh, celebration, uh, right? So, in celebration of their own Eid, too, they, they proved it. if you see the crowd, if you see the crowd, and you'll be wondering, all these people, I wish this was a TV. So I'll show you the footage of on TV. Mm -hmm. If you see the crowd, so many of them, mm -hmm. all these people, bandits, bandits in a country, a sovereign state, and there are houses around them. 
it's mm. not like they're even inside the forest i can see houses i can see houses <laughs> all right personal let me let you now precious sir when you see things like so that what? means they fasted first of all for them to celebrate each they fasted no they fasted with kidnapping instead of fasting they we are busy kidnapping what they are doing they are not just celebrating the eid they were celebrating their loot if they are hungry would they have time for all those things they are look at them the money they collected from kidnapping business is what they are celebrating and look at it this way please can anybody tell me which god will allow them to be doing what they are doing they cannot be they cannot be calling the name of god and be doing what it's not possible it cannot be god never god will never allow them to do what they are in his name so whatever they are doing i don't think uh, god is interested though unfortunately the federal government is seeing all these things the dss all the military they, are, they saw all those things nobody went there to go and run them up oh. nobody eh nobody eh, so when you were telling me something the other time about the southeast how well, do you compare no to now Precious, can you compare no to now? I've told you here, these are one of the things that cause problems in a country. Very provocative. Very, very provocative. When you have a selective approach to issues, when it happens here, you pretend as if you did not see it. But when something is not even happening somewhere else, you bring down, you bring so, down everything. So, Mr. that's what I was saying. You know, you had brought up this issue again. I didn't want to mention it again. Because if, if you feel, if a region feels very unfairly treated, and you complain and the government isn't listening you write to international communities there's the united nation there's international criminal court you write to them and let them know let it be on record Precious. that your people are unjustly treated Precious. and you bring our laws from the constitution of your country to back up your claim Precious. we have done all those things remember the united nation the highest uh, body with over 193 members they have written to the federal government three times concerning Nambekano. We, we discussed it here. They wrote on that board three times. Did anybody reply to them? The answer is no. As I talk to you now, the U.S. Congress are discussing the fate of Christians who are mostly Igbos in Nigeria. We talked about it here. So when a government has remained at that man, for God's sake, do you carry arms against them? No. You have done what you're supposed to do. The IPOP that was ordinarily protesting, you know, agitating and uh, creating awareness. Didn't you see how they were mauled down? Eh? All this thing you are saying is as if we, we just relax. My dear, we have done more than that. That is why no country in the whole world has proscribed IPOP as a terrorist group. No country. It was only Buhari that saw IPOP as a terrorist organization. You saw how difficult it was for him to even pro even after prescribing them. Did they did they cop the activities? Eh? I don't know the one that I rehabilitated. So what do you exactly do you want us to do again? Answer me. Or Haneze have gone. All the you know elders of Ibolan have gone to Asoro. <coughs> what did they what what answer were they giving? Nothing. Eh? So when you say we kept quiet, I don't know how else you want us to discuss this matter. Eh? Do we carry arms? We cannot do that. It's not in our nature. It's not in our culture. United Nations, we have written. We are, this, we have written to you. They are aware. They know. But as a sovereign nation, they cannot force them to do what they don't want to do. They will res respect the sovereign, sovereignty of Nigeria. Uh -huh. It is left for you now who is being maltreated. So now look for another way of solving your problem. That is it. We have done all we need to do. It's okay. left for the federal government to do the needful. Look at all these other people who are just who even did worse things. Son Boho declared a secession to do the republic on camera. He brought out everything: the kadara, the currency. He brought out uh, all the symbols of state. Everything before the camera. Eh? He's now in Germany cooling off there so my dear the problem the Igbo man is going to today is in the hand of God though and it is worse for anybody to fight God very very dangerous for you to fight God there are two people you cannot fight on earth you see God you see government two of them uh -huh. 
But to God is more superior because when he wants to fight you as a government, you won't even know what is happening. He has told you, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. But consistently, the Nigerian government has been touching his anointed and doing his prophet harm. All and right. God is watching. All right. So, um, Barista Darling Singh, um, Human Rights Watch have lamented that exactly 10 years after the abduction of Chibo girls, looks like school environments still remain unsafe for Nigerian school children. Because between then and now, over 1,600 children have been abducted in their places of learning. And it doesn't look like it's stopping. Just uh, between February and March, we've had over 200 happen this year alone. And it looks like it's an unending situation. Does it mean that there is no end to this, mm. to the safety of children in their schools, especially within the northern parts of the country? Mm. It is obvious now. Precious, it is obvious. Do you know the do you know why this thing is paining me? It is because at the end of the day, you and I will pay for these things. The result will be that you and I, eh, we are going to our money, one way or the other, they will tax you to compensate them to rehabilitate because these are future terrorists. Whether you like it or not, they are going to end up in terrorist camp. Eh? All these schools that we are closed, in the next 10, 15 years, these children would have grown up, they would have become 25, 30 years with nothing, no skill, no education, nothing. What do you want them to do? They will join them and begin to terrorize you and I and will be paying ransom. That is it. That is the implication. Unfortunately, the federal government are leaving their region. They are not even thinking about this. What they want is power. 2027, power. Want to get power. The one we gave them before, what did they do with it? What have they been doing with this power they want to grab every time? Power, power, power. Have they not been grabbing? What came out of it? Eh? Instead of rehabilitating children to go to school, no, it's not in their, it's not in their agenda at all. The more illiterate they are, the better for them. Meanwhile, these are the children that are terrorizing them today. The people they refused to educate 30 years ago. They are the ones that are terrorizing them now. They do not learn any lesson from there. That is the implication for you and I. That is why I'm worried. If it will restrict their region, I won't bother. But one way or the other, it will fit that down here. Then tomorrow, we start lamenting. How did we get here? How do you have so much terrorists? How do you have so much kidnappers? They are the people who are angry with you. What are called misanthropes. Those who hate the society because they were neglected. That is it. That's the only way they can vent their anger. So when the, when the people who are supposed to take care of them refuse to do so, what do you think will happen? By the time they grow up, they'll say, eh, so you people... Of course, they will get sense now. Ah, they will get sense by force. With what is happening now, I was thinking that somebody would have started and said, come, how do we stop this? So that our children, these are our children that we are trading abroad, they can come home in peace. Nobody is thinking of that. Nobody. Precious, nobody. Then tomorrow, in the next 10, 15 years now, when this one would have matured and start their own, because their elders will die off, either in the battlefront or whatever, then they will take over and continue for when they stop. Then you and I will be running, talking about them every day, kidnapping this person, kidnapping that person. Nobody will say, Where did this thing start? When is, how is it going to stop? Nobody thinking about that. Nobody, nobody. It's not in their agenda. What they want is power, power, power. Let them continue. I wish them well. All right. Um, moving on, the governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party PDP in March 18. 2023 general elections in the Boeing state, Dr. Ifanye Chukuma Odi has raised alarm over the increasing rate of poverty, hunger, and unemployment in the Boeing state. Be like say no, no, say no, be in the Boeing state today. <laughs> Odi urged the PDP party faithful to work together for the development of, of the Boeing state. Uh, he, you know, he said this while addressing people. So, bottom line, he's complaining that looks like people are hungry and like, you know, those who won the election are not doing the needful to relieve the people of poverty. Would you like to say something to him? Uh, it is left for them. But is that not an APC state? At least I was thinking that APC, all their governors will, 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 will lead by example to show that, uh, uh, that uh, they are what they are claiming. If we have a good governance in Imo State, in Ebony, don't you think that other states in the South they will emulate them? But look at Labour Party in, uh, in Abia State. Look at what the man is doing there. They will not copy it, or rather they will be looking for a way to bring him down. 
They'll be looking for a way to bring it down. In fact, they're even surprised what what is going on there now. Go and mark it. They are planning how to attack this uh, Alex Oti. Before you know it now, they will torpedo whatever he's doing in Abia. How can he be, be uh, just a Labour Party that came up yesterday? How can they be performing so well more than us? That is what Nigerian government is. They don't want to see any good thing good from anywhere. The moment they see, instead of promoting it, they will shut it down. They will shut it down. Eh? Ask yourself, what is it that anybody is looking for in Imo State? Since the Wapos Adema came there, through the Supreme Court in the first one, and through Reagan in the second time, have we no peace in Imo State? Is it not an APC government? Have anybody asked me, Mr. Mano, what is going on in your state? Eh? Have anybody? Uh -huh. So that will tell you how they want you to be. They don't want anything good to come out of uh, Israel. I'll be Nazareth. That is it. So when you say hunger, uh, Dev Umahi just left there yesterday and went to Abuja to become minister. Is he not supposed to be concerned in what is going on in his state? Eh? Is he not to be concerned? So if they are not doing well, uh, they should ask themselves questions now. I said as a ruling party, they should have given a mandate to all their governors. You must lead by example. Let us show these people that yes, we mean business. All right, so, um, very so let's move forward straight to River State. Uh, maybe we'll just go to Indo State uh, very quickly. I'd have to narrate a couple of incidents happening in Indo State. Uh, let me begin by saying that... Um, Wali Akin Terinwa, a governorship aspirant uh, ruling under the All Progressives Congress APC or contesting on the run, running on the radar, uh, has expressed dismay over the alleged decision to halt the projects initiated by the late Governor Rotimi Akeridolu in his hometown of Owo. Said, why is the governor trying to, uh, why is the current governor trying to halt, um, you know, his legacies in? You know these kind of things that happen in politics, but mm -hmm. still in understate very quickly. Let, let's let know that the governorship has rent again. You know that the election is coming on soon, so there is that. You know, a governorship as as aspirant of the All Progressives Congress, uh, um, ahead of the forthcoming election, Jimo Ibrahim has disclosed that he has paid hundred million naira to enable some members of the party vote during the primaries of the party on April ten. Let me just stop it there. Hundred million naira. And still in the state, uh, ahead of the governorship election, the chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP in the state, Tola Alabere, has assured that the party is committed to rescuing the state from its current challenge if it emerges victorious in the polls. In fact, they say they are honored to make sure they then bring back the state to PDP. Mm -hmm. All right, would you uh, quickly uh, when did just chime Okay, yeah, Jim Ibrahim wants to become another godfather in uh, Ondo State Abbey for paying a uh, hundred million. <laughs> Precious. <laughs> ah, God of it. You mean there's no limit to infamy in Nigeria? Is that not exactly? Million. Is that not for governorship reasons? Is, not, no, no, it's <laughs> not like he's, he's, he, he said he is paying so that they can vote for the primaries. primaries. Yes. That means he will decide now. All those people he's paying money, he will not decide where they will vote. And we, oh, God Almighty! And this is what you call democracy. Exactly what we can did in a uh, river state that is causing problem up to today. You can imagine all those lawmakers. He, but but Barry Sadalin, he's helping them now because the national leadership <laughs> of the party had instructed that all the party members have to pay their dues before you be eligible to be appointed. You know, as oh God, as God. you know, um, as um, someone who would uh, take part as a delegate for serious? the primaries. Okay. So so since everyone had to pay their dues he helped them to pay that he was just doing good work oh. i don't it? want to say the lord's work uh, he was helping them pay their dues and you forgot that he who pays the papa did take the two uh, you have forgotten uh, uh, what kind of primary are you expecting with this kind of development what kind of primary will that be people's choice precious will that be you see eh, when you don't taste this democracy it's so annoying seriously you have you have done this in several and it didn't give you good results and you are still doing it. Eh? You imagine all if all these people he paid for their whatever now, if they are being teleguided to follow through another pattern, his own candidate. Now, of course, it must be his own candidate. What happened to the people's choice? Eh? Will he not be the one to decide who will now be what in their uh, own those during this election? And even if, if the man wins election, he will tell you, remember. Remember how I paid for this, and how, the same thing we can have been boasting with reverse people. 
Is that what you call democracy, precious? Please spe answer spe me. Speaking about boasting in River State, uh, Peter, the former governor of River State, Peter Dele, has now confirmed Simon Alai Fobara as the, you know, political leader of River State. Uh, uh, recently, Wiki had an interview where he confirmed that him and Odile are not, you know, so charming as it were. Mm -hmm. And then Odile now, you know, said, you know, Wiki, um, uh, let me tell you now, um, um, uh, Fubara, you're now the political leader in River State. Mm -hmm. Do you see Wiki taking that statement lightly? Remember, he's concerned about his structure. I have told you here, precious. When they say monkey clever, monkey clever, it is only when the trees are together. Now because in tree near tree. Uh -huh. If people from Riverside will now separate this uh, this uh, trees is far away from Wike, he cannot jump from Abuja to Rivers. In fact, before I even think about it, if I even want, he will think whether he can even cross River Niger before getting to Rivers. I am telling you. If all the elders in Rivers should come together and call the bluff of Wike. He will, he will, he will, he will, he will, he will control himself. But is it when you, when people are supporting him, that is when you think that he has power. Eh? Ekwensu anaba how ikwere yesu, ekwensu. Devil, Satan, in Igbo language, you call ekwensu. That means ikwere, when you agree, uh -huh, Satan will walk. Mm -hmm. But if you know not walk, uh -huh, even God said, if you shout at him, he will disappear. If you shout at the devil, he will run from you. But when you agree, hey, the man will have power and be working on you. That's what is going on with all these so-called godfathers. Eh? If only people can say, look, Mr. Man, uh, look, enough is enough. Oh. Don't you see how people, they go to the, a, a very bad or, or, bad, or any like, uh, traditional ruler. They go and chase him out of his palace. In those days. All right, Barrister Darlington, eh? uh, while, while you were speaking, we had someone join us in the studio. Um, uh, we thought to quickly give him a listening ear. Barrister Leo Chiegbuka. Uh, Barrister Leo Chiegbuka is the Senior Special Assistant to Governor Chikuma Soludo of Anambra State uh, for the Legal State Liaison Office. You're welcome, sir. Thank you so much for joining us. Good thank, evening. Thank you. Welcome, Good sir. Evening, you know, so I've been very worried. Thank you for eventually obliging me and coming. Uh, I didn't think you would have made it. So I've been wor very worried about the security situation in Anambra State, like other parts of the Southeast. And Barrister Darlington almost ate me raw before you came. I hope you don't finish eating. Okay, so we've been we've been talking about the security situation, and recently in the news, uh, we've had quite um, you know the security agents have uh, apprehended or captured some amount of cashier of arms, as it were, in some forest and some hideouts in Anambra State. So, what do we owe this the security situation in Anambra State? Well, well thank you very much. Um, security in Anambra State is not different from security in some other states but like i said or somebody has said the the social media hypes up so many in, uh, security and blows it out of proportion in many instances so you think that the security issues have been overbloated for for the southeast generally or just anambra state mostly anambra state oh, what, let me really? talk about the one i know okay. better because precious you know that if you are listening to the radio you will see the kind of insecurity that are being reported in a very high volume from other parts of the of the of the nation. For instance, there is a report of about 200 and 200 and something students. 287 initially. You mean the Kaduna attack? Kaduna attack. 287 it was before Can we you imagine it? the kind of vehicle or the situation how such students were evacuated. Were they evacuated with the buses or trailers? And then where are the security agents? Now I'm coming back to Anambra State. The security, you know that before the um, the arrival of um, before the governor of Anambra State, mm. uh, Professor Chukuma Soludo took over. These uh, dark devils had taken control of more than eight local government in the state and dictating how things we go including the monda city at home so are you saying that and parts of the states were under the leadership under or the rulership leadership of, of various cells cells of different criminals non-state actors non-state actors calling the Usually, shots in those local governments very seriously is this is this real very serious that before, before so so during so during the administration uh, the past administration uh, of william biano 
this, we had about eight and i said had about eight local governments under, under the, the rulership or the siege of, of unknown gunmen unknown gunmen non-state and, actors and then, how come they are known anyway well uh, that because you don't know are they people within the eastern extraction i'm I sorry would, I, I wouldn't know they are because if they are not how are they able to you know live in the community communicate and do, deal with people say exactly they are living within the state and then they this is they have taken over they can make their homeland that put any place they are settled because they are in charge and when the governor came in i said there cannot be two um kings in a place and then he started fighting and then even their supporters from whatever time and then he started seeing a lot of things in the social media being blown out of pr proportion and then he kept on fighting them and then they are fighting back when you are fighting they are fighting back and then um you know the situation in nigeria the unemployment has escalated to such a level that so many idle hands became will um willing to to some of these criminals they will be taken into the bush and um, initiated you go into the bush you see a lot of idol idols they are worshiping where there was some um, blood or whether animal and human blood are being sacrificed and then he fought and continued fighting and reclaimed almost all the those states as i'm talking to you now so practically there are some spots of criminality because there is no society without elements of criminals but it is no longer them dictating the tune of the event how things will move so that is the position we are in now they are practically routed out okay yes. all right so um very quickly um would you say that um professor chuku masaludo has met the expectation of people as a governor because there were high expectations of him considering his background as former cbn governor sure so there were quite a, a volume of expectation from him Do, would you say he's performed very um, beautifully to meet that expectation he is not yet there but he i'm is, asking you in the capacity is, of his spokesperson in lagos he State. Is, so. he, we are not yet there he is just don't forget that this is the second year of be of him taking over the the mantle of leadership in anambra state as the governor mm. systematically a lot of things are being put into place but it is no longer as it was two years before a lot of difference it anambra people you see it you hear it and you even match on them are you getting me so he has taken the leadership and then putting so many infrastructures into place and these things take some of them take years incubation to ma ma uh, mature but practically as i'm within these two years a lot of things are being put in place to change the narrative change so many things in anambra state and it is happening as i'm talking to you now all right so just before i let barry sadanity ask you some questions because i'm sure he's he's already itching to speak with you uh i barry Sedanity, i know you have some things to say to him but let me quickly just jumping on this question uh during the general election there were lots the governor of your governor governor uh, chukuma saludo made you know trended for so many reasons one of which was his more like lack of support for his supposed brother peter Ruby during the election do you think that the eastern leaders are sort of united as united as we would see another brothers when it comes to politics especially at the federal level well they you know and you think saludo played that role well to support well everybody has his own um you know saludo whatever he believes in he believes it to a like let me say to a fault mm -hmm. and that is his own personal opinion and conviction and not as the governor of anambra state so just like my own self everybody you have your own opinion even um like you mentioned peter B, he has his own even his movement from one party to the other is on his own but then what happened during um during the election everybody generally even um the, uh, our present uh, president mm. there must be opposition left right and center okay. but what counts most is the majority if mm. we are really practicing democracy. democracy okay do you understand me so irrespective of whose opinion is not because he's the governor he has his personal opinion but then some people may have uh, expected okay over this kind of thing you may keep quiet 
he may have a different view over it but that is his own so view. you say it was fine that he did not show support to his brother it's his view that's what he's saying definitely it is his okay. view all right because he didn't ask us not to do so or didn't ask anybody or the embryos not to vote for pitobi and if you check the records they are there majority of anambrarians voted for him mm. including party members and it is not because of him it is only their own they are because of their, their conviction, personal conviction conviction and you know again anambra state they have their own way during any political even them um, you remember the previous um head of state he said uh, people some people voted 95 percent you can't compare to those who voted for five percent of him these are facts that are on the ground but Barry so, Sadalinsi, would you like to say anything to him yeah. quickly before open for lights? Because Anambra people are listening to you um, and they will call and ask you questions. I uh, hope you don't mind. Yes. Why? They, I will answer the ones I know. Okay. All right. Then go ahead. My Barry brother, Sadalinsi. you are welcome. Thank you. You see, since uh, Professor Solido came on board, he's uh, leaning towards APC. Did not go down well with Anambra people. More so when everybody is aware of what APC have done, especially to the South Easterners, which is on record. Now, even if it will be, I mean, even if uh, Professor Soludo has his own uh, mindset or his own opinion on issues, must he be to sell out his brother so that he will be in the good book of APC? Remember the long letter he wrote uh, against Pito B, where he was denigrating them. You know, he even denied all the things Peter B did in Anambra. He denied it. That was when Peter B asked him, did I hand over to Professor Soludo or to Obiano? You left the boot of the fat head and you are knocking the head. That was what Professor Soludo was doing in Anambra, which is wrong. He never saw anything in the Peter B with no. all the things he did. My brother, I'm coming. Oh, hold on. With all the things he did, it's like uh, Professor Soludo just came into office. Or because of uh, Pitobi, why this man was being praised abroad and all over the world? It was only in his own land, his own state, that he was never a prophet before Professor Soludo. Is it fair? Okay, tell us one thing: Pitobi did not do right. He couldn't say. Meanwhile, Obiano, who took over from Pitobi, nobody was mentioning his name. Nobody. Are you telling me that people of Anambra will be happy with him? This is a man we are projecting to be a brand in the whole of Ebola in the southeast. Is it because of jealousy or what? It's not fair. These are the things that the people got another people angry. And that's why his the government is not even getting the support he needed. Okay, look at it in security. When Peter B was there, was there anyone? Please, somebody should call and answer me. Peter B ruled an state for eight years. No single insecurity because the man who told Barry us how, how there was. Hold on, he told us how he tackled it. Uh, but uh, that, that's what I'm saying. There uh, was, he told but he was able to nip it in the oh, bud. Yeah, but there was. To, uh, he told us how he tackled it. To his, to to a reasonable extent. Those, yes. there was. those things, those things he put on ground. Why is it that when the uh, Soludo he just seen it because so, was, there was somebody so before Soludo? Do you know if the person kept continued? Soludo should have. Revived it. Oh, sorry. Fought for him to, to make progress. Uh, if if he had done that, he wouldn't have the challenges he had. Uh, because the challenges he have now, Peter B never had one quarter of it. Uh, yeah, and he told us how he did it. Okay, so 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 so, this, so 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 going straight to his question, Barisa Lines, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, there's no time because Nigerians are already calling us. Uh, do you think, do you believe by what Barisa Lines has said that Saludo had some some sort of jealousy towards Peter B? Uh, or do you think he's not seeing an ambition to also be a president someday? Perhaps that's why he couldn't jump uh, support now, for his no, brother far at all. From it. Uh, um, okay. they, these are politicians okay. and they may have and I believe certain issues that were in existence and the opportunity for it on that area occurred are you getting me? Yes, and please. I say this could be personal Anybody are you aware there? if they had personal rift uh, before then? there could be oh. because they are, they are, you know, so, so you think it may just so, be a fallout so of a personal issue? already contested for the governorship during the time Peter B was handing over to Obiano do you get the point? Mm -hmm. And however way it was handled, they are not the things that are before the public. But somebody can use any form to reach out to the other person. These are politicians. And easily, including people, they don't forgive easily. But they will pretend that nip it on the board. Then coming to... Are you, but by pretending, are you saying that some, no, someone I is say, pretending? I don't know. Okay. And, I, and I said beforehand that these are personal matters, which 
should be kept as it is. Not, don't forget that these things came up because people be came in to contest for election. Even when they even offered him the same Afghan platform. And then for whatever reason best then to them again, he chose a uh, Labour Party. Some of these things could be certain undercurrent people don't know. And I believe these things are past tense. Now, um, a lot of people can read any meaning into it. Very many. Without even understanding. Like he said, show me what this person did. And then you now called and said, Peter will be handed, Denver handed over to Soludo. And what, um, being, what are, that are being flouted as what Peter will be did could have been handled during um, or taking record of during the time of Obiano. What a concern Soludo was what Obiano handed over to him. And if there is no record of what Peter be handed over to him, anybody mentioning it, asking him a um, uh, uh, Soludo question on Peter Obi, he, he has the right to answer that person, to reach out to that person anyhow he likes. Because even Peter Obi was handed over by another person. Everybody knows the issues between mm. Ngige and everybody. And then individuals, they have various ways of handling their various matters. We as a group, as a people again, we have ways of handling our own. So, um, uh, those things are things that are past. And then, there is no way you go and, like uh, he said again, that there was a way people be handled insecurity, that there was no insecurity that time. I disagree, totally disagree. Even before people be there were insecurities. It's very a, different dimension. It was I like said it. before, Pito B. Uh, yes, yes, every society, one uh, minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. The Oba brothers, the brothers very good. he dealt with them. Whether, whether Oba brothers, you don't even know many of those things that, that who, how these things were dealt with. But even if you know, every society, the issues before each one, they are different. Even, okay, look at the issue of this uh, IPOB, uh, ESM, something. We are there before by that time. And then when this uh, Nam the Kano was taken out of the public, different cells emanated out of that, uh, erupted out of it. And then you have to contend the uh, various people who believed in him and chose different ways of uh, fighting the same cause in their own various ways. It became a challenge to the society, even leading to the instance of uh, prescribing it, whether they merited it or not. And that is what we are not So you can't tell whether IPOB merited the prescription? I said the people that did it they know why they did it comparatively with some other other so do you think other, that, now, now that you've stated this do yes. you think the prescription of ipob was fair it wasn't fair to me okay it wasn't because there were some other um, um other bodies that other various bodies around the country that are doing things that are worse than what ipob we are doing even there was no issue of ipob handling god other than that general protest, if you ask me. The other side, but the government chose whatever, however way, whatever reason, let me use the word, uh, intelligent report they had. Supposing that is they say comparatively with other other Okay, so other so so, so so let's let's not make this just about security or neither should we make so, it about Peter B and um because good. of time, because of time uh, Peter B or Soludo. Not, is, let, let's look at Soludo's administration. What would you say he's really done to um you know um gain that confidence or strengthen the confidence of people that voted for him my, my sister, very because sorry. i remember that number election very well and i remember how some people vehemently refused to take bribe from other parties because they wanted to vote and so do you think he's left again i ask do you think he leaves he's been able to live up to people's expectation of him what are the things he's done tangible things that people can feel do you think Canberians are proud of what he's done and what are those things that they should be proud of about Soludo's there are so many um, don't forget again that uh, Soludo is just two years in administration and two, two years, years is not just I beg your pardon not, sir uh, because of the word just <laughs> yes sir very good he just somebody who uh, he, this is the second um, He's the president of Argentina took over in December or November, and mm. just January he's he's doing fantastically well. So it's just a couple of months, two three months. He's turned around the economy of Argentina. More so, more so, so when Peter B had led the foundation, the which, foundation of Anambra growth, Peter B led it to which foundation? We saw we saw brother. what to put Peter B left which on the ground. Which foundation? Can you because can when you he came mention, into we, we, we are not we are not we are not talking you, about let this me foundation. Tell you what, let me tell you the what. The question when is Peter not. Peter B, 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 B. schools were twenty eight. 
P2B brought them to number one. But Barista Darling, no, wait, Barista <laughs> Darling, <laughs> remember that there was another a long eight years after P2B before. That, that's why. So let's not make it about P2B. So, why didn't so, that so, continue from where he started? That's what I'm saying. So I think you should be blaming. So I think you should be blaming Obi Anofo not following him. No, 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 no. As a professor, so Ludo should have revived what P2B did, but because of no, because of he made the parts that Obi Anofo could not follow. Yeah, there are things you have taken from P2B. But if you know what is happening now, presently, Anofo has not lacked behind in it. Education, as I'm talking to you now, go yes. and check the records. Yes, I saw, I saw, I saw and some then, current look, awards won these are some of the things. Look, if in, if people hate you, mm. if because of whatever, because like from my brother now, the way he mentions P to B, P to B, P to B, and because of um, the way Saludo attacked him, it means that the hatred you cannot. There's not even anything. Not hatred, One though. minute, it's not let me forget about uh, the word. Uh, okay, 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 this why, why did the Saludo hate the P to B? He didn't hate him. Uh, they are friends. Uh, no, they are mark it, mark it and tell no, me no. they are friends. This is and a, make no mistake about it. Don't get into that thing. one. Don't get into it. Mm. They are, these people are very good friends. Make mm. no mistake about it. Mm. What could be their problem is not mine and yours. And the way it's no, 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 it's my own. It is also mine. It's my own. Tell, um, it's also mine. I, I want to open so, phone lines. A number of people are itching to jumping on the conversation. Minute, uh, the point is that when people hate somebody, no matter whatever he does, everything will be on the negative. So you think one people minute, hate one minute, so one, minute, one minute, one minute, let well, me run. How come people love you to be and, one they're, minute. and they are not hating uh, so but, No, no, that is, you are still making a mistake. He drew the kindly give him a minute He drew the first blood. You see, I can tell you all the things he Please, 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 please give if we start uh, this way, we will not arrive at anything. I think, no, please, I, think let us I don't do even want us to arrive at anything. Uh, Until he tell me why he don't okay. like it to be. He uh, should tell uh, us. You, he but Barista Dalinsi, he's not. He he's not. He's not. He's not. Professor Chukuma has not been loved in his in his own state. His own state. Where he's supposed to get the greatest from his government. He got it. He didn't. He got it. He didn't. And you are there. You are not. Anambra voted for him. Then. You are off record. No, it was not off record. You are off record. I don't agree with you. No, 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 no. Hello, precious. Please, please correct this. He's talking with our figures. No, let. Absolutely. Yeah, we are just he ranting. He didn't like no, no, it. No, 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 no. I he, don't. I he don't thought he it. thought he would give APC to Anambra so that they win their good book. That but is, it failed. It failed. Please, I don't. I don't like this kind of. Um, it's not fair. You're not being fair. Uh, How but it, when, when, what, when Soludo was uh, lambasting Peter, it was fair. Please, you are not fair. a brother to Peter. B. We are more related to Peter. B I am. I team. am a brother to him. And then we defend Peter B. Then. But the issue is we are talking is when you talk about policies, when we talk about policies, when you talk about what is the best interest of an Anambra state or even Igbo man. And then everybody has his own chance. And then for you to be saying that the people that he fed or that people didn't vote for or people hated him, I tell you Anambra state do, uh, do not and nobody hated P2B nor hated Soludo, but people can because of his statement read whatever meaning they so can we leave it. the hatred and that likeness is, is and move I'm ahead sorry. i did ask a question about what are the about the things that, that is, chiku masuda professor chiku masuda has done in an has, state that, is, that 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 deserves the support and encouragement of the people is, and that would make the people you know encourage the people to say that we indeed made the right choice by uh, voting very, him. what are those things good. there are various and you have very short time are, sir there are various okay is it the road infrastructure is it ict technology is it employment of five thousand schools is it the water scheme that has been lying? Five thousand schools, five thousand teachers, teachers okay. and another three thousand wait, being waited for. Is it on agriculture? Is it environmental? Everybody knows Oboko that are not going. Is it the roads that he has already awarded uh, this thing? What am I going to talk about? There are a lot of things that are still a, a lot of them take a lot um, time to ma mature. For instance, the agricultural, um, the palm and the coconut um, 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 initiative he is doing. It will take about three, four years for those things to start. So if you are asking what he's doing, there are a lot of things. This two, two years anniversary has presented a very open record of what he is what are on you the know the ground. reason I ask that question is I, mean, I know that there is a sister. Sorry, sir. I mean, Barista no. Darlington, please, sir. Sorry, apologies. Um, you know you have a sister state in Abia State whose people are overjoyed about their decision of voting a particular person in power mm. in the person of governor lex uti right it's the same um, thing with so so, so, yes. so do you think that he's you know comparing the overwhelming support and 
um you know that that the people of abia state have and their confidence in him definitely. because of what he's doing definitely that soludo shares that same definitely and would you say that he's also achieved as much definitely or more than because he's done more years than alex Oti. definitely would you say he's achieved beyond what alex Oti has achieved as governor very definitely but you know that one of the reason just like my brother here because of that singular um whatever thing they felt they seem to overshadow whatever then um, uh, whatever the oh, you think the rifts between him and yes. Obi just overshadowed, overshadowed every good he's done no uh, yes in the eyes oh, wow. in the minds of some of the of our people mm. especially from the lagos axis but it is not there on the on the ground for like i use the word the insecurity once something happens the way they will blow it from the southeastern side is more than what is even the way they blew the one that is happening in the northern area even in this lagos state but therefore there is definitely very much things he is doing. If not, there will be protests in Anambra State. Have you had any? Well, you think that if he wasn't working, I said, that would have been yes. Protests. Okay. That is definitely, and that is where many people are not getting it right. All right. Let, I, I want to open phone lines because no, Nigerians no, are itching to jump. Marisa, so don't listen. People are itching to I know, jump please, in the conversation. I want to ask you, the recent uh, decision to ban some traditional ruler because they they gave one particular politician uh, one, one, uh, not not to ban tradition <laughs> one particular one was suspended for that reason and mm. he apologized and he was reinstated so that matter has been closed there is an infringement against the law and the law took its course mm. and the man apologized the traditional law apologized and then he was reinstated and the matter closed and they have forged ahead why would it why would it be an issue uh, it, uh, why would it be an issue to me and you uh, when a uh, law was in front and the person who did it apologized openly uh, openly look. and then you give it a negative inter narrative and interpretation i want people to believe it all right lagos okay, phone fine. lines are open but yes. let's 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 so far, since in the you said that uh, soludo had performed more than god how many awards has he gotten how many awards please there are a lot of award i i will not mention them that's no. not what i said but in terms of award the award does not mean any it doesn't show what you can All right. see F fantastic so the good thing is that we have a lot of people from anambra state listening to you both at home in nigeria and in the diaspora they are jump eating to jumping on the conversation and they will be here uh to also ask you questions and to portray your point or to affirm the things he said he's done as a governor uh so that you know some of them have people in the village that they will call now now so he said he's done quite a couple of roads he's invested in ict he's he invested very well in education, education. and in health also he invested Versus you know he mentioned all of environment those. okay all right Silver. lagos Silver. lagos phone lines are open nigeria phone lines are open the world phone lines are open 0700 903 903 903 that's the number to call 0700 903 903 okay and then then uh, the WhatsApp line is 0817-175-6338. 0817-175-6338. That is the WhatsApp line. 0817-175-6338. Hello, good evening to you. All right, I lost that. Hello, good evening to you. Which good one now? Good, good evening. evening. Yes, please, go ahead. What's your name, Sam? Where are you calling from? My name is Nyebuchi Angujolo from Ojoy area, Lagos. You're welcome. I go am ahead. From Iha local government to be precise. All right, go ahead. Um, there is no need to argue. If you are doing well, you are doing well. Soluto is not doing well. Why do you say he so? He's not reciprocating. Okay, he is he's not reciprocating the gesture show and Ambrarians gave to him during the time of his election and how is he not reciprocating it i want us to talk with facts and not make hearsay and it's good you're an anambra okay, person me, so you let say me, it let me it. go ahead on the on the express road via As a federal road. Opa. Opiweka. how is it now the major the most hello state in anambra on nature this is in Anambra on nature. How is it? Is it motor? If the it is under the federal government, and federal government said they are incapacitated to carry on the repair of the that road was. Unfortunately, okay. your, your line yeah, is yeah, so bad, but I think so, you've made yeah, your point. Yeah, I appreciate yeah, you. Yeah. I will let you continue later. Hello, good evening to you. Yeah, hello, precious. It's Tony Chukwode. Tony Chukwode, yeah. are you from Anambra State? Mm -hmm. 
Of course. All right, go ahead. So, okay. I get uh, your point. Well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, he said, he said, what, what, where, where, what local the, government? Yeah, where, so where, 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 where are you from? And where are you coming from? I'm coming from UK. Mm-hmm. So, um, uh, the guest, uh, okay, can I go Now, when you go out, I'll salute the Namochi. Okay. I don't know. Good. So, um, I just, I, I just heard some few things. One half because I just pulled over along the motorway to, to listen to the artist. Oh, dear. So, yeah, so the, the issue with uh, the security along Ihiala, mm. Oga, Ekuro, uh, Ihiala, Oga, Ibuku, Umuchu, down to Munze. Yes. That, that area, I'm sure you know that is a no good area for some people. I'm from Agwata. So, and I was, in, I was at home, the, the thing that happened at Oga. And I was at home, I was during the Christmas, the time Soludo was uh, doing the barrier for uh, the dad. I was around, I know everything. There was light, those area. And again, the, the next one is uh, the roundabout at Ekurobia. Why was it so, I, I don't know what to call it, that people were inhaling dust in the name of they are doing a roundabout there. Is there no other way to do it? I mean, to navigate the traffic to a different road, to do a road and navigate the traffic there. But the whole place was jam-packed, dreadlocked. Nothing is going there. Then the second one, the third one, has to do with the uh, the light. There is no light in the state. And another one has to do with the supply. What happened to the busy water supply from Oga, busy stream, where the water was used to come from? You, you, you did mention about water. So what happened to the, that, I mean, that water supply? What is the governor doing there? So, uh, don't, uh, is, I know his place is in Namoche, so that's the thing. So, I know, I know him. Uh, so, so, so um, um, would you so say that he's I, I, really lived up to the expectation of um, the voters? Um, uh, precious, there is one thing you have to understand. The, like, the, uh, the issue that uh, uh, during the election about P2B and, um, uh, and him, I think that thing is now overshadowing everything. He shouldn't have, to my own understanding, he shouldn't have um come out to say uh certain in as much as two of them might be friends attend the same school or anything whatever but there are things that you don't you don't have to say in an open you might you, you there are, let's put it this way there are some truths that you will say it might bring it might disturb the peace so it's better you keep that truth so mm-hmm. no matter what so you believe you know, that what soludo said was uh, had, had some truth in it is that what you're saying? I'm not. I'm just giving an example. There are okay. some certain yeah, things that you say. Okay, okay, let me put it. Let me let me put it this way again, precious. Yes, please. If I know that a man is having a good wife and a good family, providing for them, doing everything, and I saw that man in a hotel with a under woman, will I go and destroy the peace in that family because I saw that man in a hotel with a under woman? All right. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much. Uh, we have uh, lots of calls if, to take. Ba- Barry Darling Singh, we have too many if calls, a, please. If a state does not have water and light, then where is the progress? That's not Meanwhile, what you said. No, there's, there's a particular uh, There's a particular of area he mentioned. Water, 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 and then it's being worked on. Uh, there are a lot of water schemes that are going on in Anambra State that, uh, uh, that, that, that are already functional. Hello, good evening to you. Hello, good evening to you. Hello, good evening to you. Good evening, Professor. Yes, please, welcome. What's your name, sir? Where are you calling from? Yeah, this is you to call you from free time, sir. Go ahead. Uh, good evening. Good evening, my brother. And the gentleman there, good evening. Thank you, Barrow. Right. Um, let me tell you something here. So, Ludo have failed. There's no, there's no need to uh, to be beaten around the bush. Why would you say that? He gossip too much. Where is he? Where gossip. Is he gossip? Where is he coming from? So I'm Sierra Leone. I'm calling from, 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 from Sierra Leone. He had people at home. How long? He had people at home. No, they no, say no, when no, last no, did you come 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 to come Hello? to Anambra State? When last did you come home? For him to give a blanket. I was uh, there. I was there. I was there. Uh, September uh, uh, last year. Okay. I don't need to. I don't need. I don't need to be. We need to take away that divide and rule from Igbo land. I don't need to be an Amberia to know what is happening. Alessoti, Alessoti. So, some people are not uh, from Abia State, but they are seeing what Alessoti is doing. Yes. Okay. Yes. So you don't left. So you don't left something that he's supposed to do and keep gossiping. Yes. He keep gossiping in the market with this woman that sell. He's a failure. And if if there is anything to say, 
You should tell us where he buy his certificate of a, of a professor. Thank you for it. It's a failure as far as I'm concerned. Hey, hey yes. calm down, brother. Please, apologies. Please. I'm in the mad at all. Calm down. Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay, you count, the counter. <laughs> Hello, good evening to you. Hello. Yeah, good, good, good evening, precious. Uh, this is uh, Mazi Richard from Germany. Mazi from Germany, you're welcome. Go ahead, please. Yeah, good evening, gentlemen. Uh, yeah, let me evening. tell you, I mean, this uh, is Soludo something and Peter will be Soludo. We Igbos in diaspora, we are very angry with Soludo, what he did to our brother Peter will be. We are uh, very uh, angry. Is this about Peter will be? It's about his so, work as a governor. So, yes, yes. That is not part of the work. It shouldn't be the same part look, of the work. Uh, the, look, the, the mandate, the but mandate President, are different. Some, someone is on call, please. Their the mandates are different, please. No, no, Let us not confuse this. The mandates are different. If you are choosing betrayal as part of your job. Go ahead, please. Go ahead, please. Mazi, go ahead, please. So go, go ahead, go ahead, me. go ahead, please. Not, not, it, patient, please allow allow me to talk. Jo, uh, I, I what, haven't stopped what, you. Please what, go ahead. What what prof, professor uh, Soludo did to Peter was was very treach, treacherous. And now coming to uh, Namde Kano, treacherous, my sister Namde Kano, before he was the IPB was prescribed in 2017. Did you know that even the military prescribed uh, IPOB, and when they knew, when they told them no, that was wrong, they rushed to the court and got expert expertise. As as we speak, they they cannot even come to court to defend that prescription. IPOB barristers have gone to court to challenge them. They are run away from the from that case. Okay, so um, you're, you're saying this in response to my initial argument to Barry Sadala, exactly. right? So I hope I hope you understand. I hope you understand my stand on this as much as I shouldn't yes. have one. My question is, the situation is the way you painted. Of course, we knew everything that transpired, and I could relate it to you or you know chronicle it for you if you want me to. But my concern is, why does it look like the Igbo leaders, both traditional and political leaders, didn't make push enough? to stop that prescription or at least to make noise to international community to say that that was an unfair treatment that shouldn't have happened and not just about the prescription at other times too when they feel like the egos have been unfairly treated perhaps you look at what you mentioned about insecurity in other parts being treated differently yeah. from the security yeah, in, in the Igbo land go. why don't you talk okay. there are other cuts apart from the cuts that that I'm governs pressure. your land that, that you could go to why don't you make uh, noise because I know, you're not, so I, that at least international community get to understand that, that oh these people are complaining you know that we're not treated well sorry go ahead go ahead and finish and talk before we go ahead go ahead no i will get i will let you finish because i'm the one who cut you for example uh, but, uh, let let as he uh, as he uh, his role rest in peace. He went to even UN headquarters in Abuja when Nigeria Nigeria government Nigeria military were killing Igbo youths on on armed Igbo youths. He went there with all that you organize and Igbo. Recently was during during Nandikani's trial. This man, this old man that is now dead, mm. with with Mbasulike, with other people, mm. with God, 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 was so Lika. They, 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 um, they no, went to um, court. This, um, uh, they please, please, they, let him. This interruption, this interjection, is not good. It's not fair. Okay, and okay. you don't know it. Okay, fine. There are things you don't know, and you better do not talk. Go okay. ahead, my brother, please. Okay, go ahead. And you know, then, but so, there, there is so, a contradiction in what he's saying. That if people are not, the, he's mentioning a lot of Igbos who went, who actually went, who took up the case, who took up the case, mm. and then it's, it's pure different that nobody did anything. But you use the word pushing enough. I, I didn't just, say didn't push you. My, no, my no, concern is said enough. enough. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay, but the point is this. No, no, no. no, no he's, he's, he's still on the line. So, so, oh, so let him land, please. Okay, let, let's let him land. Go, go, go ahead. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry, yeah, our sorry. brother. Oh, sorry. You know, you know so, the conversation so, you're raising is very ripe. You know, it's it's uh, interesting. So we have to interrupt. So, Apologies. So, uh, my, my my sister, look, we are here. We are we we are in diaspora. Igbo people are here. We are many here. And we are not happy with how Nigeria is treating Igbo people. We are not happy. 
next by Saturday we are going to Igbo meeting. And the, the, everything, every day we, every month we we assemble is about Igbo and Igbo quest in Nigeria. We are not happy with how they are treating our people. These men went to Buhari, they nailed, they nailed town. They nailed town. Buhari didn't, even the GSA didn't allow them to go into the court. These old men were, were on the sun in Abuja begging to see, go into the court. They were not allowed. And I don't know how, how, how do you want them to do anymore? Exactly. When the Python dance, Python dance one, Python dance two, these people try to stop this python that's one python does two the 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 buhari was was one thing in fact do you, uh, let me tell you do you know that that buhari because of the comment buhari did against the evil that's why twitter was twitter was was suspended in nigeria the what the the, the buhari wrote about in the evil the way he's going to teach in the evil, the lesson they understand let me tell you even my barista, 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 the, the Darlington and that man there, they are lying to it's themselves. Terrible. We don't belong. We don't belong to this Nigeria. Nigeria must be renegotiated. Re re Nigeria must. Be, <laughs> man, Nigeria must. Be, we must. We must come together and sit down and renegotiate Nigeria. Otherwise, whether you are in Lagos, whether you are in Abuja, you are wasting your time as an Igbo man. Okay. Thank you. What? Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, it's okay. Uh, let's yeah, let's let's get to stop with them. Let's go through let the let emotion. Let emotion, let the emotion no, it's not so, about the emotion. Uh, you know uh, what I expected from Soludo, as the professor, and I think he's the highest uh, educated person. No, no, in no. The, he, he he's the educated. Go ahead. The, the ah, problem he's the only professor. You know the, the the challenge you are mixing up now. No, I'm not mixing the, up. The, the, the reason, my, my the brother, reason, wait, the guy that said something. Hold on. I know what he said. I had him. What I'm saying now. Let me tell you. Do you know that there is a way uh, Soludo being the former CBN governor, he at least has played at the national level. If he can take that position with the, be, the background, his academic background <laughs> and rally round um, rally round uh, all the other egos, um, please, leaving uh, politics um, leaving, poli um, leaving politics um, apart um, um, leaving politics apart I do not know whether before governor, you know that <laughs> when he stepped out um, on the, the role Soludo played in this matter they are very open very open statement he made at transcore here and then he visited it along with so many other people to this uh, visited Carlo one and then visited him again as a governor yeah. now the problem with people are home that because of this uh, issue the people tend to forget the role this man played and i know and again apart from him there are several others these are confidential issues matters that people have done but because of this Igbo question in nigeria polity are you getting me? That is what is keeping that young man. Let nobody be thinking because he has not been released and nobody is doing anything. What the Yoruba or Hausa will do for their own and they will lessen. They will, even if you like, roll down. If they decide to do that, they will do it. We will be deceiving ourselves if we forget who we are, where we are coming from. That is one thing. And I know a lot of people very seriously that you not even hear in the paper that have met anybody who mattered and asked them to join in this and they are doing it but the, because of that same Igbo question which permeates every other thing Igbo man is involved with and then when we are talking we are very loud mounted we just talk anything we like because we perceive it out of emotion and out of anything so Igbo who was there where is he now it is not the same role let us understand this thing. It's not the same thing. It's not the same the same way they will listen to this one. They will listen. Why we not are so? all involved. We Why are not so? Because Why can't our pe oh, your people complain oh, that oh, oh we're well, fairly treated? Because he's involved. Okay. We are all right. involved. Thank you. Uh, let, let's let's take calls. Hello. Good evening to you. Hello, ma'am. Yes, sir. Good evening. Welcome. Good, uh, good evening. Welcome, please. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Kakin Kali Fatan Fen of Taogun State. You're welcome. Go ahead. Let's hear you. Thank you. I want to greet the man in the studio there. And uh, I think it is unfair. A lot of that is uh, anything attacking him anyhow. You don't know. Ka can you just go straight on and ask your question, please? Just just go straight and ask your question, please. Okay. If we continue like this, 
you are creating more problems for your candidacy than helping him. I will not pay more than this. Thank you, God bless you. Thank you so much. And that's to Barista Darlington, right? Thank you. All right. Okay. Hello. Good evening to you. Hello. Good evening to you. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Welcome. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Okay. You're calling from Denmark. Yeah. It's been a long time. Are you beefing me? Yeah. You're beefing me. I am waiting for the money. I am waiting for the money to get to two thousand, but I haven't got. <laughs> <laughs> so my prayer has been working, Abi. I have not called. You you wanted to call me to prove me wrong, but my man. God answered me. <laughs> Thank you. You're I, welcome. I, Go I ahead. Doing? I'm I'm doing okay. Thank you. That's great. I'm always on, on with you, but I'm waiting for the money to get. To uh, God, no go answer you quick, quick. No vex. If we, <laughs> if so we get to that two thousand. So Thank soon. you so much. You just go quite great to you, not to go quite. No, well, my brother, I'm not doing a single one. It will look at it to heaven. I'm not. <laughs> so just go straight on please we don't have much time please go ahead. oh listen what they are what they are what we are saying about uh saludo as he's hearing this voice you know who he's talking i fight for him i speak with him when he come to peter i said don't go there I said, don't go there. Then I, I got angry with him. I was expecting him as a, a professor to do wonderful, more than the, the people who have ruled and embraced But he, he does nothing. Ask me why. Why? I told him that uh, if you want to get the security in tight in an state, what you have to do first is to make sure there is solar energy all over the state. Then fix cameras. If you have these two things on ground, forget about the investors, then we come by themselves. The most key point we need, all the state need is light. Without light, nothing is functioning. Without light, there is no security. All these things he's talking about two years. What is what uh, unless OT is not up to one year? Just look at what did he get money he's using in Abia State? And we have somebody like him. I was uh, when uh, last time I talked to him, he was telling me to talk with no come with it. Or to talk with no come with it. On I beg you, he's begging for the next election. That is the campaign they are doing right now. But if he did well. He will not be asking for campaign. People will come out and vote him. But he's just two years in office, so it's not even time for campaign yet. That's, so don't just that, call that's, him that's two very, years. That's very, very correct. Don't just I, okay, I'm not supporting years. you. I'm, 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 also this. I'm from everybody and for nobody. I'm, I'm, I'm not even that, supporting you. No, yeah. <laughs> but that is the fact. If he use, he's if two he years. If he he a campaign has not even started. You're interrupting me. Go ahead, please. If he spent these two years, just to give power setters light in an state that two years that light around can can put him in the, for the next four years what we need is light and when you get light you fix cameras straight light everywhere the criminal will not be anywhere to be hide you don't need to straight police i gave him all this map i told him look at even his house in his shop don't have yes he cannot use Apologies, looks like we've lost you. Thank oh, you so good much. Hello, good evening to you. Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, good evening. All right, let me read some messages because our phone lines are absolutely on fire and it will be very unfair to those who have sent messages if we don't read them. Uh, all right, let's see. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Thank you. What's your name, sir? Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Casey, you're welcome. Casey, can you speak up a bit more? We can barely hear you. Okay, can you hear me right now? Go ahead, please. Okay. Um, the last time I came to... I'm from Anambra. I'm from Okija, precisely. Okay. The last time I visited... Uh, 
your line is is faint i don't know kindly you know, put your mouth close to you your phone me? and speak yeah, so just go ahead make it quick please we don't have much time okay thank last you time I visited and all the rest of it, uh, that was uh, last year i right before me right before me our boss that the uh, nature world our boss has to stop before me i saw those boys killed three policemen on the highway you have to run into one uh, police station that as i said i want to ask uh, the man in your street okay. Tell him the name. if his name is barrister you please okay uh, uh, the barrister i want to ask you if Soludo is doing well in anambra state i want to ask him why is it that the people of anambra love their past more than their present exactly. why do they love people be more than the professor if i anytime i speak with my mother my mother will tell me that the solution because that's what they call it solution they tell me it, she tells me that the solution they voted for is now a problem to them <laughs> why is that why is it that <laughs> all right thank you so much i appreciate you thank you thank you uh, would you like to respond to that quickly because i have lots of messages i should just go straight to the messages no, the point, perhaps you have other the, things the point to is that to. the point is that uh, um, the security situation in nigeria and anambra as in any other place is very unfortunate and then like i said before in my talk that there are a lot of things being done against insecurity and then including the vigilante various all the can, can you help me hold your thoughts please okay. um, we have people okay. our phone lines are on fire and we don't have much time okay. hello good evening okay. to you hello precious how are you doing i'm very well thank you remy from i agree right. and yeah. your guest well you're welcome just, this is just remy straight ahead go straight on please yes um peter b said something to soludo he said uh, he is the trader yes soludo is a professor exactly so wherever he stopped the classes from. he built we whereby he, he probably yeah. forgot to put windows so those should continue from there exactly so um telling me so Ludo has only spent only two years how many months has uh, Tinubu spent that he turned this country upside down <laughs> is, it, is it about how lengthy you've spent yeah how on um, the interval or the length of time you spent in office how are the people feeling your effect and there's this hypocrisy if you're on the ground actually my brother with due respect you will understand what he has what he has done and what the road doing. the built Even that the rain washed off no that, that one that one if, if you if you if you are if you know what happened, you're interjecting me no is you will mention the, the road, road he fixed that is barely how many months old that we there are is no off. road he fixed uh the, the contractors we are still on site and the, I, I that the road has not cured. that particular now. portion who has not cured and the heavy run that the the, 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 uh, the, uh, the drainage blocked the uh, um and the the the, the 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 there was a blockage on the drainage and the flood the moved the, into a fish. road that has not it didn't uh, even touch the sub base the the, the 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 base of the of the road and then yeah. somebody just took that portion that only that portion without okay. even taking the up upper and lower area no, of that on, road and even to see that you, the capital like, just to do God, this particular thing you are talking then, about oh, me, that's to give this negative oh, narrative oh, and you are just picked on oh, it oh, and even oh, the the refuters hey. by even the commissioner you didn't job. even see it your job right, is so to defend ahead, your go ahead, your boss no i'm not defending but what is on the ground yeah, but please. Hold on. You are failing to give honor to honor's dream. Maybe out of out of hatred or what it's that is left for your boss and you to So Remy, I'm losing you and I may be I'm afraid I may have to cut you off. Um apologies, I'm losing you. Apologies. So let me quickly run to my WhatsApp messages because I have too many WhatsApp messages. Okay. All right. So uh this message here um says uh, may the souls of Dr. Bunayon rest in peace, uh, in perfect space. That's what he says. Amen. Uh, this is a story with the way things are cost now. I will eat, including the rats with the fever. Why are you like this? Why are you people like this? I'm advising you small advice that you people are turning it the way. Okay. APC spokes lady, Mr. Darling, uh, on my man of the year. Since when your president came into power, he has been putting square pegs 
in a round hole look at all his ministers all he's been all all, all of them has been disastrous eh case study power minister you put an accountant and party loyalist to be power minister the same for the other ministers too what do you expect from um from this cash okay uh that okay all right you know remy you know now you know why i cannot read the rest of your message now be precious the same darling thing that talk against a man forming a militant group in nasarawa now saying security in the southeast should be handed over to ipob group Darlington should cons uh, should be consistent in his analysis. Olu from Badagri sent in the message. You are um, only talking out of point. They okay. said they challenge you. They say allow them to secure the southeast. You okay? Do you know that if not for IPOP, it would have been worse by now. All right. So let's move forward. It would have been worse. Olu said that one. It would have been worse. What are you So the freedom, the freedom, the bandits are enjoying in the north is really suspicious. With all the atrocities these guys have done and are still doing, I wonder why they are still enjoying and parading themselves with every al uh, alacrity pressures eh? uh, this drama cannot and will never be tolerated in the east and south south nigerian army would have entered the evil forest to terminate them this is really unfair and the same time unfortunate his royal highness bc moko sent in that um yes um okay all right uh the terrorists called bandits celebrating salah inside an evil forest in zamfara state is not forest though yeah, I saw houses around though where they are worshipping their god and Nigerian military is silent about it and they didn't say anything. Wow. Okay. The federal government under Buhari is a hater of IPOB and I reiterate IPOB is not a terrorist organization. Leo from Lagos sent in that message. Pressures, those that matter in Igbo politics that's supposed to speak for the release of Anam the Kano has not spoken enough. Those that speak or have spoken are not in politics. And for that reason, government are not taking them serious. Odom, sent in that message. Perhaps. Pressures. Uh, wherever there is no justice, equal right and truth that is happening in Nigeria shall always be proved. Uh, Bloodletting, terrorism, banditry and hunger due to recklessness, recklessness and carelessness of government. Prince uh, Imoze from Kato sent in that message. And then this here says, Babiji from Osho, the... Um, sent in this message and he says uh precious you are bamboozling darlington with those of you those your questions please if you know what's the truth and the reasons the southeast governors except governor uchi were not um we're not what uh we're not uh, seriously speaking out is because they are all politically selected by those Igbo haters in power who will always want them to do their yeah, beatings yeah. and they will often dance in their tone and you said you said a lot so, so then whose fault is it and my fault so does that not buttress the point or you know prove to the point that they're not doing enough uh we the listeners did not enjoy today's program well because the station goes off and on during the pro are you serious when did that happen please let me know what part of town you are i can't remember when any state in the southeast for the past eight years won by apc for presidency and you want the fg to be fair with the igbos abi by Sada Linkton, can I take it from say, hey, hey, say because APC no agree on a no agree vote APC, that's why the government cannot be fair to you guys. The killing in Ebony is so annoying. The Nigerian government is playing politics with insecurity, but uh, saying that IPOB is a terrorist group means that every Igbo man is a terrorist. It's ugly in the ear. The federal government should know that there is a point at which people can endure certain ugly treatment and revolt please leave uh, suludo and his apc romance he spoke his mind and Ambra decided to and perhaps they will decide again all right uh, i think professor suludo over promised ouch okay sorry that call interrupted hello good evening good evening precious Sir? yeah good evening you're welcome go ahead please very quickly Barista we don't have time it. so we can attempt our yes, step down I'm conversation going to pass. please well Barista, in. good evening and good evening to your guests i don't know whether it's coffee between Soludo and peter those uh, peter will be rather is as a result of as that when peter Soludo was a cbn governor peter be was still in the banking sector so peter B became governor of anambra state but i think if you want to compare the both of them on who is performing and who has performed better Peter B will always take the lead. Exactly. That is why, um, if you look at um, factories were functioning under Peter B. So, and if these factories are no longer functioning under Soludo, it means that there's no power. Now, let me tell the guests in the studio that there's this link between Enugu and Anambra, where you call this Ugoba. Mm. 
Bray Harbor Man C. This old road, the governor of yeah, the governor of Enugu State was able to fix his own all the way from Enugu River down to that particular bridge. But the last time I passed through that road, the Anambra section of that road was not fixed. Are you aware of that, sir? As a, it's under construction as I'm talking to you now. Under, and okay, under is, and it now. is the federal government that they were pushed to do what they're supposed no, no. to do. Listen, listen no, hold on, sir. Okay, sorry. I want to drop my question so that you can answer as well. So while I listen to that radio, okay. you see, the thing is this, sir, it is not all about federal government. If this road are being used by your people, you should fix it. Then I think, um, the other time the president said you can fix your state roads and come for a reimbursement of no. whatever money spent. No, so you can do that. So, please, I want to bring that to your notice. If you right, say it's under Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Jova. Okay. Thank you, I appreciate it. Um, right. um, and, and just, and just to quickly buttress uh, about Jova's point, one, just, just one second, just to buttress his point before um, um, you respond. I'm aware but, uh, of different occasions where governors from other states have done uh you know federal roads a case study a case study is is is, is, is Akwabio, during his administration he mm. built he, he, he made even, sure he dealt with roads. a lot of federal uh, roads but, during but, his state uh, we can we can in precious, fact the potakota bar road precious. it was is practically on, on on motorable once you pass imo river once precious. you get to imo river which is the abia state access mm. it's now that alex ot has now worked on it but we can ensure that he made the road free and movable and motorable for his own people in river yes. state so yeah. governors should actually look at doing they that are, to uh, ensure uh, mobility you know uh, movement for their but people you know that during uh, at the inception of this new administration i mean um, head, um, um the federal government there are a lot of certain policies that were actually that was that that's the part of the reason why many federal roads collapsed and there are governors, state governors there. Why, why were they not touching them? Do you get the point? Why? I mean this particular time. Why this, all this negative? But the fact that uh, there are a lot of things that, that, that are being put in place, these rules are being done. If the federal government refuses to fund or to do it, and they refuse to fund it even when you do it, then you, how much do you have to face the ones that are practically your own roads? to go and do their own now you now have the consideration that your people are moving there and that's why you if you read the papers you see Soluda has engaged this on my severally on the concern of the road and which he promised and they are doing it as i'm talking to you including the one you, you may think uh, other uh, state governors are doing you don't know who is how they are, they got it, got involved doing them so uh, the change of omahe is bringing a lot of things down to southeast I'm, I'm not holding forth for him but these are the things the politics policies and politics some people do not know and we very much hope that most of those things will be reversed for our own good that is on that area then on the other area of um, mentioning p2b and comparative analysis please um, uh, i don't want to be dragged into it because if you drag into it it look like if i don't like p2b but it is far from it he has done his eight years Udiana has done his own, own eight years, and this person is doing two years. Then the LSOT own. There is even good if the southeastern governors, that is, that um, having this uh, kind of synergy, doing a lot of things uh, together, and then that, that, that competitiveness, healthy competition, this person is doing this person. If the southeasterns will understand this, play the politics well to encourage each and every one of them, but not the kind of hatred or criticism that are coming up, that are not encouraging, then we are not helping ourselves, even as Ndibu, even as South Easterners. Because there is quite a lot of difference between the governors that are presently in, in administering the state now from the previous one. If we tell ourselves the truth. Of course. And that's, if there is, one minute uh, please, if there is something, mm -hmm. let us encourage them and then point out um, constructive criticism uh -huh. uh, for them to wake up and do based on whatever fund then again there are priorities of each administration some may choose to do road some may choose to like even the power we are talking about everybody know the politics and the geometrics before um, uh, this last time this the politics that were there it is not it's not something the the, the incubation period for such thing was, could have been three years but what was holding it and then lsot came thank god our own is that it eventually took off and during lsot's time but that is not to show that it, it others are not doing anything 
or forgetting that it was 20 years a concept that was 20 years ago but we are happy that it happened i'm praying that others will spring up their own and then stop this kind of um, um irrational politics that some of us are doing that uh, if, because you know the critics once they are criticizing or hate you there is nothing you will do they will appreciate and that is where the real thing that you will forget the politics what you are supposed to do what you're supposed to do this place is, but they just hate you and hate no matter whatever thing you do and that is what i see that is playing out mm -mm. so please let us reverse yeah. one okay. minute it is at our own advantage if we start changing these negative narratives and move into constructive criticism. So is it also uh -huh. fair, just, just one, one second, is it also fair that the governors or the politicians generally begin to also do things that people can see and believe? That because uh, they say good thing, they hide themselves. So if, if, there, if there, there is a level at which you do something good, even those who hate you just say, yeah, you find sha, you that, find sha, but just I don't like you. They, they, they will just say That it. is what is happening. Because the most important thing that, if you, like I said again, there are a lot of things uh, professor Togo Masolo, the, the government has already put in place and he's still doing okay but because uh, of this uh, this issue you will mention that they are not criticizing what he has done other than mentioning his letter or his groups with uh, the former um, uh, executive governor Pitobi. that's what you, com you continue to hear come on, um, blind uh, blinding whatever and overshadowing that thing and putting the other one in a, no, no, in no, a silent no, mode. No, no, you know what happened. Oh, the problem, no, let me tell you, my brother, hold on. Uh, Soludo drew the first blood. When he condemned the people, <laughs> oh, that is the only thing. So, so, by so let, let, let's not make this a bad people. Let's let's move on. I have lots of messages to react to. Let, let me go straight to my messages. Um, so um, so um, Faulkner from UK and uh, US says, I'm just picking up from where Remy stopped. Before you defend Soludo, there is something in engineering which states missing screws are always considered incomplete job. You a hundred percent wrong due to the fact that the road got washed shores uh washed okay the, the fact that the road got washed shows it's pure failure that's what Faulkner was saying that Anybody you know so all they have already cleared that particular point uh, but the fact that it was substandard enough to wash off no means that not something is wrong. i see they, they they did it in the evening of and the next day Saturday. it rained on sun that, that's the same night as it they were rained moving. heavily and the equipment were still there okay all right so so, and so it let's, rained let's... and only the the, the the ones that had not um uh, um uh, um, uh, solidified mm. that was that small portion about two feet okay. that's why the, right. the, the person that did it did not take that camera view the upper level and it's okay it's lower. okay let me quickly rush through my messages because i have to go to my step go down ahead, conversation please. i'll not go let ahead, you ahead, deny me you. of my step down today um <laughs> barista good evening this uh, country is not one you're just deceiving ourselves simply i'm no, no 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 i'm not taking i'm not taking those messages oh i'm i almost fell down from the trade mill this segment was hot fire you do not play with barista darlington are you kidding me clearly your guest is a soludo supporter mr darlington uh lie right at uh, his ha chai chai Precious, fold her arms as the drama is on fire. Uh, so you were just busy there watching, Abby. Okay. Precious, <laughs> instead of you to use local example of Governor Alex Uti uh, in your response to your guest's uh, short time excuse on Governor Soludo's performance, you went far away to Argentina. Abby, again, Precious, please educate me. The last time I checked, a high court somewhere has reinstated IBOB and no other court has altered it. So please educate me on this and Soludo's utterances on POM. You don't, you don't difficult for church. Now wait talk about that. You know what, Lagos, phone lines are buzzing, but I need us to go through to our step down conversation. So Barista Darlington, eh, you know that uh, Junior Pope died yesterday. And incidentally, the river is the site of Anambra State River of Imo, Imo, um, um, uh, River Niger that he died. Mm -hmm. And um, so one of the guys who survived the incident said before he got on the boat mm -hmm. that he performed a ritual with Fanta and he sprayed 10,000 naira notes on the river. Do you think that saved him? Is, are those just myths? Or there is a possibility that there are gods and goddesses in the river that answer such prayers. Could that be the reason why he was saved? That's a step down, Barry Sadalinsky. You know, usually now, I'll take your, your response, but just after this break, stay with us. Lagos, no this is the evening rush. We'll be right back. Listen to hot critical analysis and top trending topics of the day. Join Precious, Monday to Friday, 7 to 9 p.m. on The Evening Rush. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, Ligas, you are welcome back. It is still 90.3 Voice of the People FM. So, Barista Darlington, I did ask a question. Now, uh, yes, sir. Did you have you read the one book written by I think Peter Kocha, Handshake Across the Niger? He narrated the story about this same river goddess, the river goddess of River Niger. When Asaba massacre happened, you know what happened in that uh, incident. The women were assembled with their men and they were asked to drop their gun that the war is over. Moritala assembled them. After three days of dancing and celebrating, they thought that the man meant business. At the appointed time, he ordered his men. All the men, all the young men, and they, all, they were slaughtered before their wives and their daughters. When this thing happened, the women ran to River Goddess of River Niger and surrendered asked her to protect them since they no longer have their sons and their husband and asked her to avenge the death of their husband and their sons eh? and she responded immediately so, so Barista Danis, let's, so take a listen to him. Let, let's take a listen to him that reached that good morning guys um, my name is T.C. Okafo um, I'm a Nollywood actor first of all I want to thank God for saving my life I was at Bellwood Hotel and I got a call from Google. I said, I'm do all this thing. They said, I beg they go need me tomorrow. I said, okay, no problem. Last night she said, make I go. Say, we will talk for WhatsApp. I said, no problem, but I beg if through through the, the, the cross water, I know they like cross water. It gets why everybody know where I'm from come. Before I cross water, they go observe them. My aunt said, no, I said, okay, let me call my my spiritual mom, I called my spiritual mom, she said, okay, no, see me, I go, say nothing. Say, if I finish, so far, say, if I finish, that's good, what I'm mean, supposed to give what other people say, make I still come drink and for them. I said, okay, no problem. It is the next day where I'm supposed to start the job. They don't come with that. They are come the best. Why these people, they don't start this, their package. They will tell you, be on set. So I want to call this short. Bottom line, he said he was able to perform a ritual. Uh, he poured some Fanta to the river and, um, you know, give some money, uh, sp spread Ten thousand naira in the river. Do you think that that was really what saved his life? Uh, Barrister Dalinson, you said that. I wanted him to confirm. You yeah, know, uh, you're from Anambra State, yes, and am, that's your part I, of the river. I am from Anambra State. Mm. You know, this is a religious matter. Yes. And a lot of things happen based on somebody's faith. Mm. Uh, um, the guy can, he could, whatever he says, he knows where he's coming from. Okay. And then the question is, if you're in that boot with this kind of thing, why didn't you alert others? But why I was understanding that they were not with their life, but with their so life so that life. that is not even so, the the, so, the, 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 so, the bone of contention for me is that are, are there really spirits that control the water? Ah, okay. uh, depending okay. on depending on the level of somebody's faith. All right, ah, okay. So go ahead, Barry. Then how did the mummy water come about? So mummy water is real. More than real. Are you serious? Lagos one lines are open. That's a that that's a step down conversation. That's a step down conversation. Said, please, no, please I jump said, in on it. Even uh, Junior Pope, <laughs> he was shouting. If you, if you, if you listen to the full story, why the guy was speeding? The man was shouting. Said, please, uh, uh, my ogre, slow I down, slow children. down. I have three children. I'm the one to raise them. He was make, you know, shouting. Hey, you know, apparently he annoyed the water spirits. He got, they got angry with him now. He was shouting too much. <laughs> he was talking too much. He was talking too much. That was what happened. So you if you see why you were shouting and all that, and so that, in fact, you even made them to. So you think that the reason he died is because he annoyed the water spirits? The reason why that well, some of these, those things happen is that they're supposed to do something, they did not do it. Hey, wait. All right. Four and lines are up. Barry said, that We have see. just five minutes to, to, uh, to take call. So let's do are that you quickly. you telling me that spirit don't exist? Hello, good evening. Oh, dear. Hello, good evening. <laughs> Hello, hi, good evening. How are you doing, precious? Hi, I'm very it's well. Thank you, Faulkner. You're welcome. You're welcome. Go, go, go so, ahead very quickly. I we don't have much two time. Two things I'm just going to point out is that I think two things. But the, what the guy said he, he prayed to God first. That mm. was the first thing he did. Yes, mm. yes. In, you know, I'm summarizing was, because we don't have time for the step down. So just mm. go ahead. I know, I know, mm. I know. It's going to be quick. So now you pray to God, then you call your spiritual mother, then you start first. So which one do you serve? That's number one. Number two is that. Was there any safety measure on that river? That would be the first thing. Okay. Things just happen, just happen by coincidence. At the end of the day, it's God that saves him. 
Okay. So it's God. Whether it is God from the water or God in heaven, it's God. Thank you. Give to Caesar. Thank you. Give to Caesar what, what belongs to Caesar. To Caesar. Mm. Give to God what be- So Jesus Christ said it too. So okay. he knew that uh, this is All right. the, uh, that Hello. Is the same thing. Hello, good evening. Depending on your faith. Hello, good evening to you. Hello, good evening, precious. Yes, Jova, you're welcome. Go ahead. Ah. Thank you. If not, I have mentioned the name, I would have been that man. Sorry, no, oh, sorry. Let me quickly go. Oh yeah, sorry, it's sorry. Sure. Go ahead. I, I'm oh, not even sure it's Jovan talking to Go ahead. After all, Dumoje, Dumoje have his own it's, God. It's a pity. It's a pity that um this happened and I was stepped down today. See that particular guy that performed whatever he performed. Hmm. He is the one who provoked the spirits from the water. <laughs> oh. uh, uh, he's not now the one. But then how come they saved him? How come he survived it? Can you hear me? How come he survived it? for him now. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? We can hear you very well. Go ahead. The Bible said there are principalities and powers. And powers, yes. And if you if you remember very well when Jonah was running from God to uh-huh. Joppa, yes. If not that he was thrown into that water, mm. that particular ship also would have crashed mm. possibly jonah will still survive but others will die mm. so that is why i'm saying that that guy provoked the spirits in the waters unfortunately for the guy who died he doesn't have that particular idea that there are powers in the water mm. so he was shouting talking and what happened happened may he so rest in peace Amen. thank you thank you thank you so much all right i'm moving from seven and eight says what i understand from what happened is that is doing here all right thank you thank you for interpretation hello good evening to you mm. what does he mean what does he mean that's it you, you have to factor god in, in whatever, whatever you're, you're, you're doing thinking, all right thank you your intention awesome. and it is only an unfortunate person that water water what you are saying man yes it please happened. it happened Yes, it's Apple. I am from the Barai area in the district. Mm-hmm. Yes, there's a particular rock that we call the Olifa. We call it Olifa. It's opposite uh, Kogisti. That is still down in Kogisti. Mm-hmm. So we are, if we are going to the farm or we are coming back from the farm, there is that, that hill, that uh, uh, Olifa, we call it Olifa hill. In our place, if we go there, say this thing. if we are passing there to the river Niger, if you did not drop whatever you have, whether you throw money or you throw food, whatever, it go, the boat will capsize and everybody on that boat will, 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 will die. Will. So you make peace offering to the river before yeah. you leave. Mm-hmm. But when you throw whatever you have on the ah, Olifa, Lumima, ah, Olifa, is there, that is Olifa, save us, oh, now your children will pass by, you oh, save us. Then you throw whatever you have in book. But if you just stop and say, ah, I'm a Christian, I'm a Muslim, forget it. You are mm, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate so, you. Yeah, thank you. It, it happened. So you it believe happened. that they saved him. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello, good evening. Hello, precious. Sir? Hello? Oh. Hello? Oh, dear. Apologies, 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 apologies. Unfortunately, I don't have so much time. Hello, good evening. Hello? All right, so let me run through some messages. As for the step down, it's real. There are rivers, uh, there are what now? He said there are river gods and goddesses. So I believe that the Okafo guy said uh, what he said about pouring libation, Sahid from Barawa sent in that. And he says Mr. Linton is very insensitive. Ah ah, calm down. Precious, there are powers and spirits that exist. Is It's also biblical. If not, why do we hear about mermaids? Mami water. Mm, Mr. Linton already said that. Okay. All right. This says, uh, Precious, your spirit in the water. In my village, we have a river called Wolas Okija. You don't shout people's name in that river because the spirit water will take your name and visit you. <laughs> Away. For real? So these are really real. Hello, good evening. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes, good evening. Welcome. Hello. Yes, please. Welcome. Hello. Unfortunately, unfortunately. So let me have your parting shot, Barry Darlington. Precious, sir. I want us to go back to what we are saying, please. You see, uh, one of the worst things that can happen to anybody is to lose a war. When you lose a war, everything you do will always be negative. Go and go to Bible. Go and okay. check. All right. So if you have lost a war, all you need to do, reinvent yourself, and then. Take another pattern. 
in order to come back to yourself. Ma Barry said, thank you. We Except don't have so much do that. time. All this thing we are saying up and down, it will not yield fruit. Thank you. They thank will you. not to use us. Thank you. you against me. Me thank against you. you. Thank you so much. Sir, um, sir Barry Sali, you saw your, your part in short. Uh, my own is that um, we continue to plead with our people to continue to bond together. It will be okay. Stay together and align with whatever development that we are coming. Only mm. the global global, ne change the change we need. And okokona abani anu fiye me nge ne. Can you help us interpret, please? Okokona abani anu fiye me nge ne. Akonya. That is when you are surrendered by enemy. uh, by enemies. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? You have to be conscious of it and then guide whatever you are saying and whatever you are doing. But they are not your gods. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lagos. That's the size of our package today. We do appreciate you. My name is Precious Inye. You know I love you, right? Have yourself an amazing evening.